Alright, so there are two achievements regarding the Dead Money DLC. One is to face the dude. The other is to trick him. Now, Avery would not trick a man into being locked into a vault to starve to death. That's awful. I don't think anybody deserves that. Especially not some crazy old man that just sounds like he went crazy. So, uh, we need to do the other one and then reload a save because that's not going to be like the cannon ending for Avery. You know what I mean? So, so here. <clears throat> Heist of the Centuries. Optional. Sneak out of the vault's chamber area undetected, trapping Elijah when he opens the vault. That is exactly what we need to do. Now, the question is, what do I need to do to act? Oh, already? Wait, is he coming? Oh, he is coming. Okay, we're going to reload that real quick. Uh, let's see. Let's see. This one here. And then what we want to do is we actually have a stealth boy. So we're going to go ahead and pop that some bitch. There you are. Woo! And then we're gonna do that. We're gonna put this away. Um, do we close this or do we keep it? I think we close it. And then I'm gonna go over this way and just kinda hide. And let's just see what happens. This might not work. So the barriers activate. He's coming, but I don't know what he's gonna think. See, there he is. But I'm invisible. Did you really think you could steal from me? Yeah. The Sierra So that did not work. Okay, so that did not work. Alright, so we'll reload that and try it again. Yeah, this one is so tricky. So, optional sneak out. Yeah, well, you would think a stealth boy would help out with that, wouldn't you? So we're gonna open it again. And then we're gonna close it. And then go just, like, over here in the corner. Maybe that'll work. I mean, the thing is, like, we don't have sneak. So, I'm hoping that doesn't mess us up here. We can also do another thing. This is so weird, man. So weird. So weird. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, that's good. He went through the bear. Ooh, that's really good. Oh, he's a falling for it. He's a falling for it. Dumbass old ass bitch. Thinking you're gonna think you're gonna trick us after we did all that work for you, dumbass. This is what you deserve. It's not what Avery would do, but it's not what I would do either. I don't think anybody should be condemned to starve to death in a, in a vault. That that seems awful. Okay, so let's see what happens. Huh? What's this? Alarms. What? You... Think you can run? This entire structure is mine to command. Security. Weapons. All time is against you. It always was. Okay, that didn't work either. I guess we're supposed to leave the thing open, but I thought we weren't. Yeah, this is why this is so confusing. Are we supposed to leave the vault door open so he goes inside, but then hide behind the... Ugh. And also, is my Pip-Boy light on? That's probably a problem. Okay. So let's try this again! I remember doing this when this game first came out, but I don't remember how I did this. Um, but we'll just see. Come on, Elijah. Just go through the big old door. I, I feel like you weren't supposed to leave the door open, but I don't know. As long as he doesn't activate that barrier, we're all good. Twitch is probably telling me what to actually do. Uh, there's just like 18 different things you can do here, so... Alright, let's see if this one works. Maybe we close it behind him. I mean, that would make the most sense, but I felt like I researched this and it did. It said to not leave it open. Okay, walk inside, you dumb bitch. Yeah, there you go. What's he doing? He's activating the console, I think. Huh? What's this? What the hell? Alarms. What? You think you can run? This entire structure. Okay, that's what I figured. Okay, okay. So I know how to do this now, I think. This is so weird. Why wouldn't you just... Uh, it makes no sense. Anyways, so here's what I think we'll finally do. Yeah, I think this is going to be the way that works. I didn't want to do it this way because this is like the dumbest way, but whatever. So, once again, we're going to turn off all this stuff. We're going to leave that open and we're just going to make a run for it. We can't alert him. So we just need to go back through the other way and get out. And I guess that's what they mean. I, I could have swore when I first played this that you could trap him in and, like, close the door and, like, lock him in. But this is the way they want us to do it, I guess. So, so odd. So now we just need to backtrack the whole way uh, past this uh, hologram, make our way back to the start. And then we should be good. So, excuse me, fella. A little bit of red cloud. That's fine. So far, so good. Everything's not on alert. If everything's on alert, that's when the bad stuff happens. Okay, so let's just make our way back. I've already done this, so I know how it goes. Uh, where are we trying to get down to? I think down there? Yes, so we should be able to make a little shortcut. Huh? What's this? 
Alarms. Are we supposed to make but it before he here. says this crap? Think you can run? This entire structure is mine to command. Security, weapons, all. You Hopefully you guys could hear that. Me? Yeah. You're the one with the wish. Did we do it? It says completed. I don't know. If we go back, I know it's supposed to trigger when we go back. So if it goes back and it doesn't work, then we have to just run this before. Okay, so now he's in there and we're over here. So let's just get out. Please work. There we go. Okay, I got it. Safety deposit box. Safety deposit box in the top left. Look, it said, uh, you know, trap, uh, trap is whatever his name is. Trap Elijah in there. So there we go. Okay, that worked. So, so weird, man. So freaking weird. Why would they program it like that? I have no idea. But anyways, that's the two achievements. You can either not alert him, make it out, and then boom, you get the achievement. Or you can um, just tackle him and kill him. You have to actually be the last one to shoot him, and then you get the other achievement. Uh, I was doing this, and like a laser killed him, and I didn't get the achievement. So if you're going to do this yourself, just remember, either A, sneak out and don't let him see you, and then you get that one, or... Make sure to fire the last shot that kills him, and those are your two achievements on Steam or whatever. So that's that. All right, so everybody can come back now. It's over. You can go back. Wee! Everybody come back. Yay! Come on back. Woohoo! Okay. Now. Now, now, now. Um, I suppose we just load this one and should be able to clean everything up now. Yeah. So, I'm gonna try to avoid spoilers as much as possible, but, you know, this is at- is that still gonna- Oh, yeah, we don't have the explosive collar! Oh, well, okay, well, <laughs> I just spoiled something. After saying I wasn't gonna spoil anything. Okay, now we're gonna do the cleanup process of just getting everything here, and, uh, then we can be done. And this is actually great timing, too, because I really need to record a whole bunch, and at the time of this stream, uh, I wasn't really able to until now. If that makes sense. If we do all this, I'll be able to record at the perfect time, so that's really good. Alright, so... Yeah, again, I'll try to be, um, I'll try to be avoiding spoilers as much as possible. Uh, it, I guess what we can start with is getting these cards. We need to get the cards, we need to get Dean's stashes, we need to get the, uh, what's it called? The... Snow Globe. Um, and then any, like, unique weapons, uh, any unique armor, although I'm pretty sure we have most of it. And... What else am I missing? Uh, you know, that, that's sort of, that's the big stuff. So... Let's see, I think there's five of these, which means we already found three out of five, which is really good. And plus, they're named, so we'll be able to, like, locate those quickly. Okay, so that's how you do those achievements, alright? Alright, what's up, everybody? Sorry I'm missing so much chat, just, this is gonna go on YouTube, so I have to make sure we're doing stuff and not, like... Remember when I did Skyrim, and we didn't get anything done, and everybody yelled at me at, on that streamed video, and they still yell at me to this day? Remember that? That was a fun time. You guys remember that one? Okay, so now I'm gonna go find these dead man cards... Yeah, I think there's five of them, and we have three, which means we only need to find two more. So I am going to uh, keep this up here and take a look at what cards we're missing. We have the Ace of Spades! So sorry for that, <clears throat> and sorry to my throat, too. Um, Do we have the Eight of Spades? We don't. Okay, that's one of them. Do we have the Ace of Clubs? No. So that's the other one. Eight of Clubs we have... Queen of Clubs. Wait, what the fuck is this? Six of Diamonds. That's not even a thing. That's not even on this list. What is this one? Uh, what? It says there's five cards. Queen of Clubs, Eight of Clubs. So there's Eight of Clubs. We don't have the Queen of Clubs. This is very odd. Why... Okay, the, the wiki's just wrong, I guess. Anyways, let's just start with, I guess, the Ace of... No, we have the Ace of Spades, so what the, Do we have the Eight of Spades? No. So that is... Oh, jeez, really? Okay, we missed an unfortunate one here, but we'll go ahead and head on over there. So we need to go to the police station. It's where Dog was. That's where one of them is. Okay, now as we're doing all sorts of stuff, I'll be able to talk to the chat. So uh, first off, we just need to make it over to the police station, which I don't remember where that is. It's in the first area, right? Is it, like, around here? Puesta del Sol North. There it is. Villa Police Station. Okay, that is, like, directly where we're looking all the way at the end. So we'll head on over. Okay, what's up, everybody? Try screaming Ace of Spades. Yeah, exactly. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No! You really had to cripple my leg, didn't you? 
Yeah, keep jumping around, frog boy. No, 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 keep jumping around, frog boy. And he crippled my arm, too. I'm gonna reload that. That's awful. What a little jerk. Okay, what's up, everybody? Okay, yeah, uh, everybody can come back if you didn't know. Um, we're done with all that other stuff. Okay, so now we need to make it to the police station to grab ourselves a card. And I hope I don't miss anything else. Stop throwing these gas bombs. Are they leaving them on the ground or what? Because that's not cool, dude. That is not cool. Okay, let's let's test out our... Ow! He threw that right in my gosh darn face! Nice shot, Avery. You missed a 95% chance with a laser gun. A laser gun. You know, one that might be deadly accurate. And GV, I just want to say that you're a big part inspiration to me because of that. I am keeping my head up. Got a job to pay a new computer next year. Maybe just to start streaming or make YouTube videos for the funs. Thank you very much for the laughs and enjoyment throughout the years. Dude, no problem. It's a two-way street. Thank you for watching my shit. Without which, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. So thank you for that. And I'm glad that I could have had a positive effect on you, man. As I've been saying way too much lately. Makes me feel very fulfilled and happy, so thank you for watching. Seriously. Without y'all watching, it's it's easy for me to be entertaining when I have an audience, you know what I mean? So, like, if I don't have an audience, obviously, I'm kind of talking to a lot. Dude, these guys are getting way too accurate now. What is this? Okay, we'll use our one doctor's bag. I guess that's going to be a mistake. We'll use boop, 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 boop. Uh, leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Oh, the gas bombs! I hate... Oh, they're really antsy today. They already crippled me again. Well, whatever. We, we have, like, since we're going to have, like, a million um, stem packs, we'll be fine. Uh, because of the chips. Okay, I'm getting, like, already distracted. Hold on. Where are we going? Kind of right, right over there. All right. All this for a card that I don't even know if it's going to work. I'm not going to kill all these ghost dudes because there are, like, a hundred of them. Can you stop with the ga The gas bombs are too much. Too many. Okay, so it's right in here. It should be, at least. Did we literally miss a card in here? Look at this card that I just found. When I say go, be ready to... No. Eight of, eight of spades. The, the eight of spades. Uh, <laughs> the lesser known song from Motorhead. You know, the, the eight of spades. It's the B side. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're missing one more here. I don't know what that's set up there, but we're, we're missing one more. All right, so which is the one that we are missing? Let's take a look. Because one of these is wrong, and I just don't even know what it means. The Ace of Spades, we have it. The Eight of Spades, we have it. The Ace of Clubs. I, that might be the one that's wrong. Because it says there's an Ace of Clubs and an Eight of Clubs. Well, we have the Eight of Clubs, and then Queen of Clubs. So what is the Six of Diamonds? The Six, is, the six of Diamonds is not even on this list. I don't know which one's false, so... Queen of Diamonds is in Vera's room? I might have found that one. Does anybody remember me finding a card in Vera's room? And so what's the other one? The Ace of Clubs? Behind the curtain in the Tampico when you... Oh! That's probably the one I'm missing because I don't remember finding a card back there. Okay, I'm going to assume it's that one. I'm going to assume it's that one. So we need to go back to the Tampico Theater. Again, I'm trying not to spoil anything. Hopefully there's nothing in the police station that we're missing. Uh, let's make a new save as the overall save here. What's up, Zenaldo? He was just getting into the key casino. Well, I'm not going to talk about... Oh, God. I'm not going to talk about, like, what... Ow! Where's the entrance to the casino? Right. Gosh, okay, hopefully we don't have to come back all the way over here because that's gonna be murder. We need some medicine skill too, man. Our medicine skill is so sad. Okay, excuse- Ooh. Dodge and weave, dodge and- <laughs> Okay, so far so good. I'm not using everything in my inventory to take down these dudes that just respawn and respawn and respawn and respawn and respawn. Over and over and over. Yeah, so I'm not spoiling what we did and did not do in the future episodes. Uh, I'm just cleaning up everything that's not gonna really be a spoiler. Nami. The next person had will be a thousand on the Grovakin. Really? I thought I disabled that reward though, because the Grovakin list is done. Isn't that disabled? Okay, so back to the Sierra Madre, which you can go back into. A lot of people are like, oh, can you even go back? Yes, you can go back even at the end of the DLC. So don't worry your pretty little heads. You'll be fine. It'll all be okay, I, I promise. We need to go back into the theater, look behind the curtain where hopefully there's gonna be something. Um, and, and don't pay too much attention to maybe some stuff around the theater. Maybe your brain's just playing tricks on you. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, don't, 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 um, 
don't uh don't don't look around too much. Yeah. Okay, so apparently there is a card back here somewhere. Is it just literally like on the ground? Did I just see it? Is that it right there? Oh my god, that's it. That is it. Why 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 they would make a collectible like a tiny Okay, don't don't look. Don't look. There's nothing here. Nothing here to see. Wait, where was it? I just saw it. Did I not? Yeah, there it is. Why they would make these collectibles, these tiny little things in the quarter of screens, I will never understand. But there we go. Okay, that is the dead man's hand done. So we get a little bit of experience down there. Woo! Oh my gosh, wow. Um, I, like I said, I don't really need, need to do this because we're not doing all the challenges. It's not going to happen. Um, there's just too many. But, um, well, no, there's, there's some that you can't do in one playthrough is what I mean. As I will say coming up. There's some that you have to sort of choose which ones you want to do, so... Can't do them all in one playthrough, and there's far too many to worry about anyways, so we'll do the ones that, like, I want to go for, but, yeah, it's kind of like the miscellaneous quests in Skyrim, I guess. We didn't we didn't do all those, because it's just like, okay, I, I don't want to be here for four years doing just the most boring shit ever. All right, um, okay, so that's all the Dead Man's cards. Now, the thing is, we need to get the Snow Globe, and we need to get the Dean's Stashes, of which I don't even know where those are. Uh, we're going to make a save over here. <clears throat> The reward is still there. Really? Why would I have that? Because the Grovakin list is done, right? Yeah, alright. I'm gonna disable that. Yeah, once we hit like 2,000 people, I ended it. Because I don't even know how many people ever even look at that list. And it's like every night it took up a large amount of time to add people and figure out if they were already subscribers or what. It was just like, it was... Far more trouble than it was worth. Uh, I don't know. If everybody looks at that list, please let me know and I'll, I'll keep it up. But I feel like maybe five people even looked at the list. <laughs> um, okay, now we need to find Dean's stashes, of which I think we have like... Eight out of fifteen or something. So this is going to be a long, laborious process. But hopefully we'll be able to run through it quickly. So, Dean's secret stash. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is a big ass list. I guess we'll just go by location, huh? Yeah. All right. I have no idea which one. No idea which ones I've gotten, which ones I I haven't. So, I wish we could make multiple little waypoints, but we'll make this work. Can we make a waypoint here? Um, oh Jesus, there's one right here. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, okay. We'll, we'll have to go all the way over there. And then there's one, like, right about here, too. All right, we'll just check each map, pretty much. So, we'll head over in that direction. Uh, if there's any time for chat, now would be it. Um, are you getting all the vending machine books? Yeah, we're going to be getting everything, pretty much. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Time to head back to the police station. I tried to redeem it. It didn't work because you love us. Well, I do love you, but also, it's just... That is a lot. It's like every, every night at the end of the stream... I mean, trust me, like, if I felt like a lot of people interacted with it, I would keep it up for forever, but I just think it, it takes a lot of time. Every time I end a stream, um, I have this whole, like, you know, this whole ritual that I do. Oh, God, stop. Nope. I have this ritual that I do. It just adds a lot of time to it, and it's just like, you know, we, we have 2,000 people on the list. That That's good enough to me. Let's, let's... Let's, let's just keep it like that, you know what I'm saying? Whoa, can you not? Okay, let's see. There's a Dean stash apparently around here somewhere. I would say it would be right around here, definitely. Ooh. Door to Villa Police Station, very... It might be inside? I'm not sure. But we're looking for a little handprint. It also might be up there, which is really gonna suck. Would it be all the way at the top of that? Ugh. Okay, let's see here. Give me that. Thank you. Hey, Zanaldo. Zane Aldo. Thank you so much for the follow. Hello. Come on. Hey. Where's the sweet spot, sir? Thank you. A uh, bunch of chips here. Let's grab those real quick. Thank you. Come on, Dean. Where is it? I mean, it's like right in the middle of here. I don't want to go inside. Oh, it's like right. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to go inside if we don't have to. So let me take a look real quick. It's at 999 right now. It shouldn't... What? The girl... Are we talking about different things? If you go to the Grovakin list, there should be like 2,000 people on it. Hey, GB, I've been meaning to ask, what are those random fart noises in Dark Souls 3 stream recording? Sounds like a notification sound. Random fart noises? I have no idea what you mean. Maybe I'm just accidentally farting over and over and I don't even realize it. God, I, I, I would hope I'm not that old. Um, I'm not even sure what you mean. I have random fart noises, I don't know. If it's a notification, I don't have fart noises as a notification. Um, okay, let's see here. 
Where is the first one at? One may be found in the ladies' bathroom in the northeast corner of the Villa Police Station where you found where you find dog slash god. So that's gotta be the one, but we might already have that one. Let's go through this door. 100% to open that up. Two Dick Danny, thank you for the follow. Congratulations on the two dicks. Nice job. Ooh, cosmic night. Okay, so yeah, we just need to find the lady. I swear we already have this one though, but unfortunately we're gonna have to like check each time, I guess. We're looking for a ladies restroom. We have this one because we fully explored the we fully explored the police station, didn't we? But let's look. Basement? Was it in the basement? No, this is where dogs like blah 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 blue 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 blue. Uh, also, oh shoot, we also need to go through the terminals just to check here, just to get all of the like um, the full stories and stuff. But we're, we already missed out on that because I didn't uh, talk to all the I didn't talk to all the companions and go through like every little line of their dialogue. That would have taken twenty thousand years. Where is the bathrooms? Okay, we came in through there. Bathrooms must be over this way. Okay, we're looking for a little handprint. So it must be the other bathroom then. I guess on this side. There we are. Yeah, we definitely did this, right? Yeah. We sure did. Okay, but we have to be... We have to be... We have to be... Uh, I saw something move in there, I swear to God. Or am I... What the... Where did he come from? You ever find the challenges screen other... Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people were telling me um, how to find that, so thank you. Okay, now the next one should be, like, right around here, which we probably did not get. Let me just make sure of the little area. Yeah, it should be right... Okay, don't do this to me. Show me the actual map, please. Yo. There we go. Okay, it should be right about there. Yo. Okay, New Vegas. <laughs> okay, so I must be putting it off the map. Okay, like right there, dude. Okay, okay, come on. Why won't it let me... Remove it. And... Yes. It won't let me put the marker there. It's like, it's like right here still. What the hell is going on? Alright, well that's fine. We'll just like walk there manually, I guess. That's very weird. What's the one thing... Oh yeah, Enderol would not let me, for the love of God. Ugh. Would not let me... Okay. I am not sad about... Do it. Nice. I am not sad about, like, spamming chips in order to get a million stim packs due to the sheer amount of these dudes. Look how many there are in these streets now! We have no more companions either. Okay, we're getting close, I think. Directly over, like, that way. I'm gonna assume we want to go up here. Also, what is this? We'll keep the hologram, because that doesn't it do something to the ghost people? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, hold on. I don't have my Twitch pulled up just yet. I'm trying to define this one. Oh, it's like over there. Thank you for the heart above the metal box. I really do appreciate it. That has helped me so much. Oh, boy. I don't know if I want to get in there. Oh, this... I'm realizing now how tricky it's going to be to get all these things. Ow! We have so many stim packs, but we're all good. Okay, there is a stash super close to where we are right now. Is that... Aha! There it is. We already looked at that one too. Gosh darn it. Caravan shotgun though. Okay. That one's done. Now let's see. The next one is gonna be... Why are we only seeing half of this? Do we just not even... Okay, then we must not have these two then. So the next one is gonna be over about... There's the residential district. So it's gonna be like kind of right over... Here? So if we haven't even been there, then those these two we have to uh, get. I guess we could figure that out too. We could just figure it out based on where we have and have not been to the to the map. Uh, Watery Brett, thanks for the 10 bits. Who says, how are you doing GV? I'm doing, um, as I said at the start, I'm doing pretty good. Um, yeah, you know, overall really good. There's a lot of good things happening lately, but what is that also? Excuse me. Uh, there's some ammo there. We, we'll just bypass it. Uh, overall, pretty good. There's some good things. There's some bad things, but uh, more good things than bad. So can't really complain, right? You got to take the good with the bad, and then you have the facts of life, right? As everybody says. 
February to August, we got a thousand new people on the list. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, it should be a list of 2,000 people. Um, yeah, it should be quite a lot. Oh my god, with the gas bombs. Please stop, sir, please. Ow, okay. Oh, these guys are gonna be murdered. Hello? Let's see what this guy's got for sale. Do you have any- Oh, I didn't want to buy that! Oh, it's only two caps. Oh yeah, get that out of here, I don't want that. He's got an energy cell, pre-war money, and some stip packs. You know what, give me that one energy cell. Sure. Wait, why do we have zero caps? Oh yeah, because you're supposed to buy everything. But we have chips, I'm not understanding. Anyways, let's go find the thing. This is gonna be the most like lengthy part of this entire stream, I think. Oh, Jesus. Oh yeah, and it's gonna want us to have Dean with us. Okay, so it's like right over there. Um, let me just get a closer look on where this is. Since now we have part of the map cleaned up. But every time like I alt tab, it does this so I can't see. Okay, this is gonna be right about there. So I would bet it's actually gonna be on, yeah, we can see it. Okay, this is gonna hurt me, but it's fine. So there it is. Yo, 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 where is it? There we are. Okay, I don't think we did this one. Boop, boop, and boop. Yeah, we got nine out of 15, sweet. Thank you so much for that. Hold on one second, this is like so scary. Okay, there we go, that's, that's one that we haven't found yet. So we'll just look at the map and see where we haven't been. Ivan, hey, thank you for the two months in a row and thank you for all your wonderful, lovely comments on YouTube as well. I didn't forget about them. Thank you very much for the uh, for the two months subscription. I really appreciate that. Thank you, and I hope you've been well. Okay. Also, we haven't been down here, so I think yeah, we haven't gotten this one either. There's one like right about here. Okay, so we should be good for getting that. Let's go ahead and save. Sorry, I'm like missing so much chat. By the way, everybody, I'm just like I have to have these these maps pulled up, and then I have to like. You know, I want to get this done quickly because I know this is going to be the meat and potatoes of, like, the longest thing that we have to do here. So, sorry I'm missing so much. I'm trying not to. Hey, GB, are you planning on doing a little bit of the main quest line after this, or are you going to start a new DLC? Oh, uh, we're just doing cleanup. Yeah, we're just doing cleanup today because... Oh, oh, you mean after... Yeah, once we return. Um, hold on. I, I want to not die from the toxic cloud. Uh, uh, where am I going? We don't have Dean with us, so this really sucks. Where is the... Okay, there's one over here. We're looking for that handprint. Where in the world is the handprint? It's somewhere over here. There's a door. Interesting. And by the way, inventory management is going to be murder from here on out. Oh, boy. This is going to be, like, genuinely challenging, trying to get all of this stuff and then also being able to leave. It's gonna be a tricky thing. All right, I think we wanna get on this rafter here or not, because this is a dead end. How the heck do we get over there? Salida del Sol set. Okay, we need to find some way to get over this villa, dude. Oh my gosh. This is just a dead end, man. I guess we gotta go near the center here and find some way through. But isn't this just a door? Oh, here we go. Okay, what's that? Okay, yeah, we'll open that just in case we need it. Okay, it's gotta be somewhere over here now. Yeah, it's gonna be somewhere in this corner. Oh god, and there's some ghost men. Okay, let's save here. Oh god, sorry. This is this freaking DLC is so stressful, man. I'm sorry. I feel so bad for like missing so much chat. This DLC is just like non-stop stress. I've never used Twitch in my life, so this looks all foreign to me, but I would love to one day start streaming myself. Well, yeah, if anyone's got any questions about it, feel free to ask me. I'll try to get to you. Okay, we just got... That is a gas bomb. These dudes just love their... Okay, gentlemen, can you come through? Ugh. These guys sure are loving their gas bombs today. Okay, come out! Okay, we're fine. A couple of stim packs. The good thing is we're gonna have tons and tons of stim packs, so we'll, we'll be good. Okay, so there is a Dean stash somewhere over here for sure. I thought that said something very dirty. Never mind. Uh, does this door open, perhaps? Okay. Lead us to the stash, please. This is a very hard lock, really? What is inside of it? Magical money? Come on. There we are. Pre-war money, Sierra Madre chips, and a return out. We, we have, like, a million of those. There it is. Okay. So, yeah, we're looking for those little handprints to let us know. All right. So, I guarantee we didn't do this one. Nope. Very nice. Okay. Okay. 
And we are like, by the way, 180 out of 180 with with uh, weight, and that's gonna put us over right there. So yeah, we need to drop something now. We're gonna take these magnum rounds. Turn on the pit boy light, dude. Why is that even off? Okay, we need to find something to do. Oh man, this freaking carry weight debacle is gonna be awful. Um. Well, that helps. Yeah, we're gonna drop the Goss rifle. Goodbye. Okay, that gives us complete way. All right, let's save and let's. Uh, I was gonna say let's heal and let's save. Okay. Whew. I see you later, Boomeroo. Thanks again for the subscription, man. Am I excited for the Outer Worlds? Yes, indeed. Ah! Excuse me, gentlemen. Okay, where are we going now? We got five more of these to find. Um, since we're here, Salida del Sol South. I guess we'll just check that map. Yeah, since we're right next to it. Okay, so we need to get over there quickly. Um, is Outer Worlds PC only or console too? Outer Worlds is current. Well, no, it's Switch, right? But I think it's only coming out on the Epic Game Store first. I forget, I forget what the thing is, but it's coming out on Switch. But uh, I think it's coming out first on the um, Epic Game Store, which is, I guess, that's how we're going to play it. Okay, so there's that, and then let's see. Residential, medical, Salida del Sol South. That's where we are right now, right? All these names sound so similar to me, so it gets confusing. Salida del Sol South, yes. So we refresh, because it's, for some reason, getting rid of my map. Oh, man, this is where they all are. And also, isn't the, um, isn't the, isn't the, uh, uh, the snow globe? That's here too, isn't it? Okay, so this is probably we're gonna be where we pick up the bulk of everything. So, we have one right about there, and there's one super duper close to that too. So this will be easy. And then once we get to north, wait, no, I forget, but we'll figure it out. But I think there, before we leave this place, we gotta find the, um, the snow globe. GV stream some Ark Survival in, in uh, Evolve. So I'm kind of scared of games like that because because um, I know they're super duper in depth and have crazy mechanics and stuff. And I just, how the heck am I gonna be able to like learn all that on stream? Like I'd have to, I feel like I'd have to learn it off stream and then be able to stream it. But I, I just, I don't know anything about that game. So I, I wouldn't hold your hopes out, man. I'm not sure if that's ever gonna come to fruition. Oh, there we are. Okay, that was easy. Ooh, and we didn't find this one either. Sweet, very nice. Okay, that's 11 out of 15. We got four more to find. Um, and there's another one super duper close, I know that. Okay, so far this is going pretty good. Uh, what's up, Riders Air 15 hello. AGV, I've been thinking about doing my own fall in New Vegas 100%. Would you recommend doing it? Would you say it's too much of a push? I've only played New Vegas to the end once. I have only, I only have it on PS3, Xbox 360. I 100% everything. I mean, I, it's hard to do as a stream and a, you know, it's hard to do as a YouTube series. But if you're just playing it casually, I mean, yeah, man. Why not? Um, I, yeah, I grew up just wanting to get the most out of all of my games all the time, so that's why I really became a, a completionist, because I just wanted to get every little ounce of game out of everything that I did. So, I mean, I would say, yeah, go for it. Um, if you want, I mean, obviously it just comes down to, do you think you're going to have fun doing it? Uh, yeah. But I would say, of course, turn speakers off status report. Okay, we probably already read. Now, there's one super duper close, and I don't know where it would be. Is it up there, maybe? Or is it down here? Yeah, it's like really close, but the thing is, it's probably around the corner. That's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing we have to go kind of through this big wall here to get to it. Um, okay, so let's try that. Unless, can we go down here somewhere? Ooh. Oh, look at that. I am so glad I checked that. Did we get this one? We did get that one. Okay. So I think there's one more in Salida del Sol South. Let us check. There is indeed. And it's like, this might be one we haven't got because it's right over here where the map's kind of blurry. Okay. We're running through these pretty quickly. Um, Ike the Sniper with Demon Insta Q&A who says, when did the Gro Grovican start and when did it end? Uh, I have no idea, man. <laughs> I have no idea, dude. I mean, we've been doing that for a very long time. Um, 
yeah, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it started pretty early in my streaming career because I wanted to do the typical things that all streamers do, like, oh man, somebody gifted, you know, somebody did a sub, I, I need to put them on a big list. It seems like that's what, there's like things that all streamers think they should do when they first start streaming, and that was one of them. It's like, oh, I gotta put everybody down on a list, you know, to say thanks. So, it ended recently because, like I said, at, at the end of my streams, it usually takes me a long time. Oh, it's right there, look at that. Usually takes me a very long time to add everybody to the list because I gotta go in like Control F to see if they're already a subscriber, if they've subscribed before. Add everybody. It's just I don't want to sound like an asshole, but it's just like it's, it takes a lot of time, and I just I don't think anybody looks at that list, right? I mean, am I an asshole? I don't know. You be the judge. Ooh, look at that! Boom, we got another one. Sweet. Thank you so much, Dean. Okay, we got three more. Three more. That is it for Puesta Salida del Sol South, though. So, that is it for the, um, Dean Secret stashes here. So, yeah, we only need three more shit. I don't know where they would be. I love completing games. Sometimes it's an obsession. Definitely obsession for me. I'll tell you that much. Now, the question is, is the... Is the snow globe in this area? I think it might be. So, where is this? No way. It's in north. Location in Salida del Sol North. It is in north. Okay, so we will head over there, then. We will head over there. Hey, Mr. Mr. Tick Tick. Thank you for the 251 bits who says you deserve this for playing New Vegas. What a beast. Dude, that is... <laughs> Thank you. That, that's like the most undeserved compliment I think I've ever gotten in my life. I'm playing a video game, so I deserve money. Well, that's pretty much my whole job, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you very much, dude. I'm assuming you searched me up on... Uh, I'm assuming you searched up New Vegas on Twitch and found me. Is that how... I'm assuming I'm the only guy playing this right now. Is there is there any? By the way, anybody new here? I don't want to. I don't want to know, ever know about uh, views. But um, am I the only one playing this game on Twitch? Is is there anybody else playing this? Okay, so where are we now? We're in North. Okay, good. This is where the snow globe is, and this is where the dead money stuff is. You did? Okay. Well, what's up, man? Thank you for the follow. What? Dude, I'm so scared of these big names because I'm so scared that I think I might be saying something. Some guy came in and tried to say, tried to get me to say hi to his friend Nick. Something that sounded like a very uh, bad racial slur. Luckily, I've been on Twitch long enough to know not to say shit like that. So I'm scared of these longer names. Mac? This sounds like one of those. I don't even know if I should say it. Maxim Wojewodka? Thanks for the follow, dude. And Mr. Tick Tick, thanks for the follow, too. Um... <laughs> Sorry so much for like missing so much shit guys a Feel free to repost anything that you're asking me at any point I'm, I'm, try I'm trying to get to all of it dude Chat is moving pretty fast Are you getting the vending machine things? Is that one of the achievements? No, but we are going to get them, yes Somebody is streaming NV I am, yeah I do Yeah, I guess I should give a big intro, shouldn't I? Oh, I didn't even do a big YouTube intro, shit Oh well I am a big achievement whore, yeah man Sell the cartons to the vendors. Nah. Nah, because we'll, cause the thing is, we'll we'll get all the... We don't need to do that, because we'll get all of the... Um, we'll get all of the... the, the, bla the We'll get banned from the casino. We'll get a lot of money. 2000 is a good place to stop. You aren't an asshole. The fact that you're keeping it up that long says that. Well, I wanted to go to 3000, but then it's like... What's the point? Like, I'm kind of... Uh, you know, I'm kind of like... If I, if I go to 3000, why not just keep it forever? You know, 3000 is a nice, good number. Okay, so let's see. Let's take a look. Where are we going now? So we are in Salida del Sol North, and there is going to be a big fat stash right there. So that's what we got to clean up. I'm so scared that through constantly switching, like, it's going to crash, but so far so good. Okay. Oh, don't be a dead end, really. We're fine. Raiders Air 15, thanks for the gifted sub to. Did this guy say something? Oh, there he is. Not trying to trick you. No, sorry. It's just the longer names as a Twitch streamer. You gotta, you gotta be a little careful. You gotta make sure. Uh, thank you, Raiders, for the gift that's up to that guy. Can you please tell me how to, how to say your name? Because I'm sure I butchered the ever-loving crap out of it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. Okay, excuse me, gentlemen. No thanks. So, it is super close to here. We're looking for that telltale handprint. Where you at? Where are you at? It's up here somewhere for sure. Also, any terminals I feel like we haven't done... We're going to listen to. I'm not going to read them because I know we're going to miss some, but we'll look at them at least. 
It's got to be on this rafter here. For sure. Where the heck is it now? It said it was like... It's got to be down there, maybe? Sir, can you not... Uh, should I jump into the cleft? Fuck it. I got this one already, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've been down here. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yep, I got this one. I knew I got that one. Please no, Cloud. Please no. This is a dead end, isn't it? Oh, shit. Yeah, we gotta wrap... This happened in the Let's Play where we had to, like, wrap around twice. Ugh, that's so annoying. Okay, we'll do that. Why are you not playing this on the YouTube walkthrough? Is this grinding work? Yeah, it's all clean up for dead money. We're getting all the boring shit. There's no way in hell I would ever be able to, con to commentate this. Uh, I mean, I probably could, but... No, I, I like to stream this sort of stuff just because it's going to take two years. Hey, Mary! That's my girlfriend, everybody. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, Sundagger 8 is uh, the Mary that I talk about so much in my, sh in my, all my stuff. Hi, baby. And she's a real life girlfriend. It's not like, it's not like, I hate to say, I always sound like such an asshole. There's people that, I mean, we met online, so I know that online dating is a thing, but I just think you should have a goal of meeting up eventually in real life. That's all I'm trying to say. I don't mean to sound like a total asshole. I know there's people that have like online relationships that could be like, GV, actually online relationships are very fulfilling. I'm not saying that, I'm just saying. Yeah, she lives about like 30 minutes away. No, not even, like 20 minutes, so. I don't know why I always feel the need to like specify that. I guess I have some insecurities that I'm letting come out or something. Anyways, what's up? <laughs> what's up, everybody? All right, we got that, right? Now where are we going? Uh, let's see. We are going right about, this is where we came out of, isn't it? Jeez, why did I not even, that's silly business. Uh, Ratters, thank you so much again for that gifted sub, by the way. Oh, I'm missing so much shit. I feel like such an asshole. Yeah, she is my Roblox GF. We met on Roblox, and I said, looking LF, LF, arrow GF. Um, and she was cosplaying as, uh, Dene Ah! Thanks for crippling my leg with a punch. I appreciate that. These freaking ghost men, dude. All right, get your asses up here. I'm gonna laser blast you with my futuristic... Get over here! Oh, that was the plasma blast thing. By the way, maxed out, uh, maxed out, um, energy weapons, yet it takes me 20 years to kill anybody. That's cool, right? Ow! Where am I going? Fuck y'all. Okay, get me out of the cloud. God, you can probably tell why I hated this DLC as a kid, right? <laughs> Just stress upon stress upon stress upon stress. Yeah. We're looking for that palm. Where is it? It's somewhere. Where are you, Dean? Where are you hiding, buddy? Where the hell is it? It's somewhere over here. Where does this go? That goes back to south. Did I mark it right? It could be, you know, it could be tricky because I'm marking it. Oh, no, it's like way ahead. What am I doing? It's too many ghost men here right now. Jesus. It's like, it must be, it's like up there. So we got to figure out how to get up there, basically. Ow! Okay, this is good. Maybe I could finagle this somehow. Okay, um, yeah, here we go. Okay, jump over here, and then it gives me just enough space. Yeah. Nice. Okay, now, there's got to be... It's got to be in this room. Yep, there it is. I guarantee we have not gotten this one. Right. Boom, and boom, and boom. Sweet. Two more. Two more. Oh, and there's a snow globe. Shit. Okay, so, super duper important if you're doing this yourself. Make sure to get the snow globe before you leave. It's like... You'll never be able to get it, as with everything else once you leave. So here is the snow globe if you want to know exactly where it is. Salida del Sol North, and it's at right here, like right next to the Dean stash. So make sure to grab it. You found a limited edition Mojave Landmark snow globe. Thank you. Oh, and we immediately get 2,000 uh, Sierra Madre chips. Sweet. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty hungry, too. <laughs> okay. Gosh, seriously, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I'm missing so much chat, everybody. We'll have, like, lots of time. I feel like an asshole, man. I really do. I mean, I'm not, I don't feel like an asshole because, like, I'm trying my best, but, you know. Oh, there's so much chat and there's so many tags and I'm missing all of them. I really do apologize. 
Seriously. Again, feel free to repost. I'll try to get to everything. I will try my absolute best. Hey, Kiki is your friend. Hey, what's up, man? Um, I actually know about Kiki as your friend because of Mary. Uh, she told me before, I've said this already, but she told me before, like, there was a streamer that did little cat dances and stuff. And as a, as a cat fan myself, I had to check that out, so. What's up, Kiki? Uh, let's do a shout-out for Kiki just because he does cat dances with his friends. And I think, honestly, is it S.O. or is it shout-out? Boom. Did that work? Oh, shit. Shout out. There we go. Holy fuck, Vicious Lemurs, you're at 100. I didn't even realize you hit 100. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Dude, thank you, Vicious. I didn't even realize you were at that number, man. I, I don't know if I should point out the number. I don't know if that's uncouth or what, like I keep saying, but... Jesus Christ, Vicious Lemurs. Thank you, dude. Thank you for that gifted sub to, um... Kiki. Kiki is seriously awesome. Please go check him out. He does a lot of Minecraft. I lurk in his streams very often. And fun fact, I don't know what the fuck he's doing because I don't know shit about Minecraft. And he is just doing the most, like, complex mod ever. And I have no clue. I have no clue what's happening. But he's a very relaxing dude to listen to. And his cats are awesome. So please go watch him. Especially if you like Minecraft. Uh, also, before we get back into this... Yeah, for anybody that doesn't know, this is one of my two cats. Her name is Yen, and if she says something, she's the best cat. If she doesn't say something, she's the worst cat. Let's see. What do you think? What do you think? Okay, there we go. Oh, and I think I did... Somebody did a uh, kitty treats. Who did that? Uh, who did that? Oh, uh, yeah, it was Ike. Okay, so we'll do that, too, uh, real quick. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you all see that? Oh boy, okay, do we have the thing? Yeah, I think we should be good. Did you all see that? Freaking uh, Greyjoy came charging in here. That's my other cat, Greyjoy, by the way. Uh, he came charging in here and yet got spooked. Alright, let's see. Speaking of spook, Jesus Christ, how many ghost people are down here? Oh my gosh. Did they just- I feel- it feels like genuinely that they filled this whole place up with like a million of them now that the DLC is like largely over. Okay, here's this one. I'm pretty sure I got this one already. Yeah, because it was up here. I got this one. Yeah. Honestly, with collectibles like this, it's like, why even get them when you see them, you know? Because you're just gonna, if you're like me, you're gonna have to come back and get all of them, and that makes it trickier. It's just really annoying. But whatever, we'll make it work. Okay, let's see. Now, uh, we have, it looks like, one more here. So this one is gonna be right about there. And hopefully we can get to it from here. It looks like there's a big weird blockage, but I'm not sure. Uh, Rapallo, thanks for the follow too, and if I miss any follows, thank you. What's up? Ghost people versus GV, who you got taking all bets? Um, put your bets on the ghost people, because once my stim packs run out, that's the end for old GV. I tried my best, you know? I did what I could, but, um... Once my, once my massive amount of stim packs run out, that, that's it. It's over. Speaking of, the reason I have so many, by the way, is because of those vending machines and the, ca uh, the Sierra Madre chips. You can kind of stockpile them, and then you can just turn them all in for stim packs. I didn't want to, like, abuse that to make the rest of the LP super-duper easy, but at the same time, Jesus, you kind of need it for this DLC. It's just ridiculously challenging. Okay, so where are we going, Dean? There's, like, one more stash. It's super-duper close. I feel like we've de yeah, I mean, any any place where there's a bear trap that's disabled, we've definitely already been here. It says it's, like, right here, though, and I'm not seeing it. So, yeah, this is why it's so confusing to get all of these, because they can be anywhere. Th these freaking places are so... Uh, clogged up, you know, like, it, it, there's just walls upon walls, so it's just hard to find. You have to look everywhere, man. Yeah, I'm not seeing it here, so we must have to get out and, like... Uh, oh, no. 
Oh no. Ugh. Okay, it's probably down there. Alright. <clears throat> Let's try it. AGV, are you gonna do 100% Fallout 3 or Fallout 4 in the future? Uh, most likely- Oh, it's Vicious Sleep. Hey, see you later, Vicious. Have a good night, man. Oh, there it is. Sweet. Uh, see you later, dude. Have a great night. Ha! <sighs> we already got that one, too. Okay. Uh, let me figure out where I'm going next, and then I will answer that question, Toxic. So that is everything in Salida del Sol. North. So, let's see. What have we not done yet? We have done the villa. Got all of them for the villa. We haven't done the residential residential district where Dean is, but I feel like we definitely found some there. There are two in the medical district, and we got Salida del North and Salida del South, and that's it. So literally, the only two left are going to be in the residential and or the medical. So we have to figure out which one's closer and head over there ASAP. Oh yeah, I guess I should pimp out all my stuff, by the way. Oh, I didn't even do like a big thing. Hey. Hey, look, we, we've been getting, getting some pretty good progress, so I think I can take a break here to just say, hey, hi. I'm Austin, I'm Grovan, I'm GV, yeah, I'm your friend with many names, nice to see you. you. Probably know me from YouTube, I do 100% stuff, I'm pale as a ghost, talk about ghost men, Jesus Christ, look, 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 look at me over there, holy fuck, I have no melanin in my skin at all, I'm gonna die, probably, we're all gonna die, so it's okay. But anyways, hi, nice to meet you. If you're new here, or if you don't usually watch my streams, I do 100% uh, stuff on YouTube. I All sorts of magical things. Dark Souls Remastered, um, um, uh, uh, Skyrim. Anybody ever heard of Skyrim? Probably not. That's a really obscure game. Uh, Oblivion. Lots of stuff like that. If you want to go check that out, uh, links are in the description. Everything's in the description. But also, I stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 5 to 9 p.m. Mountain Time. And I enjoy doing Twitch so much that I'm probably going to increase that at some point soon i don't know when but i want to stream more but anyways uh we're currently doing 100 percent fallout new vegas series on youtube so this is cleanup for dead money uh, but yeah we have a whole 100 percent series over there it's going pretty good as far as i can tell people seem to really dig it so if you're from youtube and want to watch my twitch well follow the twitch thing you get some caps too uh but if you're from twitch and want to follow my youtube we'll go do that too I, or not whatever do what you want to do but anyways we also have a discord okay so, do that, you know, if you want to join the Discord, open to everybody, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and then those social links are up there too. So, yeah. Alright, feel free to interact with any of those things. I'm really a believer of, like, people are going to do it if they really want to, so I don't really like pushing it. But then uh, my girlfriend says, I really need to, um, you know, advertise more, which she's probably absolutely right. But I always feel like a slimy, sneaky snake whenever I advertise anything. I feel fucking disgusting, I feel gross. I feel like, shekels please! Please! You know? So, I don't know. But, if you want to follow that shit, feel free. Okay, we need to get over to Salida del Sol South, I think, to be able to get into the other areas. Really wish they let you fast travel once you, like, beat this. That would be nice, but, oh well. Through the cloud once again. We are Discordians. <laughs> Discordians. More like Disordians. <laughs> That's just mean. It's not even funny. Okay. Uh, ow! Can are you fucking serious? Yeah, how about explode into a giant freaking plasmic burst? Little rad roach nipping at my heels, seriously? Okay, we just need to get back to the other area so we can get back to the villa. Hello, 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 no thanks. Just keep doing whatever you're doing. I'm sure you guys are having a blast. Just keep enjoying that. Okay, let's see. We're looking for a magical door that will take us to a different area. And I don't know where it is, and there's cloud bullshit everywhere. Oh, you know what? There we go. Okay, hop down here. Yeah, Out we go. Okay, now we need to make it back to the villa. I'm not sure if this is the quickest way, by the way. Oh, it's right over there. Sweet. That was easy. Hey, what's up, dopamine? He needs the shekels. Hey, look, I'll take shekels if you want to throw some shekels at me. Just please. Ah! Oh, that was too hard. Glarthir, come on. Dude, I just got done saying, please. If you're gonna throw some shekels, be gentle. You threw that shit way too hard, Glarthir. Unbelievable. Fuzzy Womp! Thank oh god, hold on. Hold on. Whoa! That guy, like, that guy gave me a haircut there. Thank you. Free $20 haircut, appreciate it. Okay, where are we going? Residential District, yeah. This is where you meet Dean. We might already have these, but we'll see. Okay, two more places to search, and then we're good, folks. And then we are good. I don't, like I said, I don't even have to do this, because it's just a silly challenge, but whatever. 
I feel like you gotta do the collectible. You know, it's like a collectible, so might as well do it, right? Okay, there is gonna be one that we def- Excuse me. There's gonna be one that we definitely did not get because our map's not filled right about there. Which probably just how these sort of collectible collectathon things go. That probably means we're gonna have to go to um, the medical district for the final one, I would bet. But let's see. Fuzzy Womp, thank you for the gifted sub to Philly Cheesesteak Gaming. I like that name. I imagine um, you just do Let's Plays like I do, but, you know, you're just always eating a Philly cheesesteak. Ah! Fucking Dean. Still, still, still getting, still doing things. See, there's another card! Wait. How many cards are there? What the fuck? So only five are tracked, yet there are multiple cards. I was wondering why the hell... Huh. Why would they do that? That seems silly. Oh well. Anyways, Philly Cheesesteak Gaming. Uh, stay safe, man, when you're when you're eating your Philly cheesesteaks. Have some napkins. Stay safe out there. I love how I have max energy weapons and still my laser pistol deals like four damage. Watch this. Oh. Well, that works. Okay. Uh, thank you, Fuzzy Womp, for the gifted sub, though, man. Seriously, thank you. All right, let's see. Let's go up here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There it is. Okay, we definitely do not have this one. If we do, I'm a monkey's uncle. Ha! Nice. That is a lot of ammo. And a rat away. Thank you. Come on. Okay. Uh, and a stim pack. And a doctor's bag. Dang, son. And a medex. No thanks. Okay, uh, so there's one more in the residential area. I guarantee we have it, so I don't even know if I'm going to go check it. But let's see where that one is. Let's see. It's, like, right here. I guarantee we have it, but just to be meticulous. All right. We'll go search for it. I think we have one more stash to find, though. You're going to answer my question? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. That's going to happen here constantly, if you didn't know. Never seen a GV stream. I forget things the moment they enter my head, so just be aware of that. Um, yes. So, you asked me if I was going to do 100% of uh, Fallout 3 or Fallout 4. Here's the thing. I think Fallout 4 is dookie. I think it has some really good things about it. I think that um, it's got uh, a very interesting world. I think it's got a lot of good things about it. But I think as far as a Fallout game, I think it's dookie. I think that um, I think that Bethesda really messed up with that one. Especially coming from somebody that plays RPGs to, you know, <laughs> roleplay a little bit. Make a character, maybe. And they just kind of took that all out. Everybody that's been here for a while knows my op opinions on that, but... Now, here's the thing. I do like it, okay? I think that it's got some good... Like I said, I think I think it's got some good things about it. And, you know, overall, it's it's a lot of fun. Like, you can have some fun with it. Where the hell is this last stash, by the way? Did we not get this, maybe? But, uh, it's got some things that I just don't agree with. Where the fudge is this? And so, it's really not up there on a prior... You know, on a... It's not a priority, man. You know? It's not a priority. It's not one that I'm like, like Fallout New Vegas, where I'm like itching to do it. I'm like, oh, I really need to do it. Where in the fudge is this stash? It's like right in that courtyard. So I guess we got to get into the courtyard. So yeah, that is not a priority. But now Fallout 3, I really want to get to it. I don't think I'm going to enjoy it as much as New Vegas. But, um... But, um, I do want to do it. It's been a long time since I played Fallout 3, and, yeah, I, I really want to give that another go. So, I would say Fallout 3 is definitely a possibility. But Fallout 4, eh. Eh. It's just like, you know, the, my biggest gripe with it is just the, um... Oh, here we go. This is what... Man, we might have not... Wait, no, I've already... Dude, where is this stash? Man, Dean really hid this one. Okay, let me consult the map again. I'm not finding this shit. So Fallout 3 is a definite possibility, um, whereas Fallout 4, I just don't know. I mean, maybe just to complete, like, the sort of... Yeah, man, it's there. It's, like, right there. It's, like, right there. So I assume maybe we gotta get into, like, this area and then go into... Yeah, that's probably what we gotta do, because, look, see how this connects. No, but we were able to get into there, though. Weren't we? Where the fudge... Where in the fudge and heck? 
It's gotta be in that door. We gotta, like, go to the other side and go into that somehow. Uh, anyways, yeah, so Fallout 3 is a definite possibility. I do like it. I think New Vegas is better as a whole. But uh, Fallout 4 is stinky, and it takes away roleplay completely, and Bethesda's, Bethesda's just lost their way. What can I say? They just lost their way, man. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Uh, you know, it's probably never a good idea. You know, what people really want me to do as, a like, a person that does a lot of Bethesda stuff is probably just, like, say, you know, just suck their dick all the time and pretend like they can't do any wrong. Sorry, that's not true. Did y'all hear about the Fallout 76 thing they added today? Y'all, y'all, y'all pre-ordering that Fallout 76 $100 a year plan? What the fuck? Um, so yeah, Fallout 4 was kind of the beginning of the end, I think, with that. I think they just, uh, took away the roleplay aspects of Fallout, which... What are you smoking? What are you smoking? Somebody contact Todd and tell him to send me some of that high-quality kush, please. I need to smoke what he's smoking, please. I don't even know how I'll be able to operate if I'm not smoking what he's smoking. But, um, yeah. I, I like it. Dude, where in the fuck is the stash? Okay, it's gotta be in here, then. It's gotta be down there somewhere. Yeah. Um... But who knows? I mean, never say never. I could do it. I could do it. I, there's, Like I said, there's good parts about it. It's got some really good things. But overall, it's like an ugly game. It, like... The, and this was my problem with New Vegas, too, is, like... Some of the... Oh! Oh, maybe this is the last stash, then. This must be the last stash. There we are. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. That is it. That's all of Dean's secret suitcases. Done, son. We didn't really get anything, but... Hey... Bethesda is blacklisted by me after what they did today. <laughs> Ike! Thank you for the gifted sub to Malrid40. Can't say it enough. Thank you so much, people, lately for all this support, man. Seriously, 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 thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There has been such an outcry of support on my channel lately, and I will never, ever, ever be able to thank you people enough. Just straight up. I know I said that a lot lately, but there's really nothing else I can say as I keep saying. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, Ike. Um, and congrats, Mulrid. And I need to be typing these things. Combine Envy roleplay and lore plus Fallout 4 gameplay and you're done. Exactly! Exactly. Fallout 4's got really good gameplay, I'd say. The gunplay is, is a lot of fun. But a lot of the environments and things are just... I don't like how they look. I don't know what it is. Man, it's, it's a weird thing. But, okay, look. Overall, I like Fallout 4. Don't get me wrong. Overall, I like it. It's just that, um... It's just that it's got a lot of stupid things about it that I just don't even understand why they did that. Alright, so that is done for Dean's stashes. Now, let's roll through this and see what we're getting as well. Um, okay, so now we're going to look at the items and see if we can't get any unique stuff. Man, we're only going to go for an hour and 15. We're making good time here. Okay, so let's see. Assassin suit is done. Dead money collar is done. Dead money jumpsuit is done. Dean's glasses... Oh, is that one of those cut items? Can you even get this? Yeah. It looks like you cannot get this, and even if we can... Speak of the devil. Speak of the dopa. Speak of the dopa. Yeah, let's do a... You know what? I, I just learned how to do this recently since I'm watching more Twitch streams than ever now. Now I know how to, like, pull up the emote thing and then just, like, spam it. Yeah, so I'm gonna spam the heck out of it. Where's where's dopamine's emotes, too? There they are. Yeah, let's do some dopamine emotes. There we go. Thank you so much, dopamine. And once again, just thank you, everybody, for everything. As I always said... Now that looks good. <laughs> yeah, I just realized how to do those, like, I, I realized how to spam other people's emotes, finally. I, I thought people were typing them out every time. I had no idea. Okay, let me just pick a thing so we know, so we're on, so we're moving. Because I know people on YouTube get antsy. By the way, I say that a lot, and I don't mean to disrespect you. I'm just saying that, um, I understand. If I was, like, watching a series, I would want the person, even if they're doing a live stream, to, you know, keep it moving, which has always been a, a an issue with me in the past with my past streams. So, that's all I mean by that. If I was watching a YouTube series, I'd be the same way. I want the guy to keep going, you know what I mean? So, but uh, back in the day, I was not good at keeping things going. So, Dean's glasses, I don't think we can get. I mean, can we or can we not? Pretty sure you cannot get Dean's glasses. I, I don't under... Yeah, we already got his suit. Uh, you can't get his holographic... 
Why does it list stuff that you can't... Ugh, I hate this. Just put it under content you can't... Oh, Jesus Christ. This already happened, folks, last Friday. <laughs> no need. We're good. We're good. I mean, we're good for like a fucking year based on what happened on Friday. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Oh, my God. Not again. I, don't, I genuinely don't even think I can handle it. I genuinely don't think I can handle that for a while, please. For, and by that, I mean a day and then do it again on Friday. No, just kidding. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. <laughs> We did go out to eat, by the way, and I paid for it, although we went... It was such a cheap area. Okay, I need to get on track. Hold on, hold on. Let me figure out. We cannot get... Yeah. Why are you listing shit you can only get with console commands? We got Dean's Tuxedo. We got Father, Father Elijah's robes. We got the Sierra Madre helmets and all that sort of shit. Uh, we got Vera. So I think we got all of the unique clothing. It's listing everything that you can get with console commands, which is dumb. Don't do that. Cut armor and clothing. We don't care about that. Cloud kiss. How do we do that? I did write this down. I remember. It's crafted with a Braxo cleaner and jar of cloud residue. Right. Okay. So let's take a look. Let's remember we need some Abraxo cleaner. Oh, and you can make potent and lethal though. Turpentine. A Braxo cleaner and turpentine. If we see those, we'll we'll want to make them, basically, but it doesn't really matter. Um Ghost People Flesh. How do you get that? I don't need to get this, but I'm just looking. Oh, oh, that's if you have dogs. That we yeah, we're not getting that. That's if dog like eats somebody, you can get some ghost people flesh. Ghost sight is also crafting, but you just need Jar of Cloud Residue. We have a lot of that, so we can do that. Pre-War Steak, I already have, and Sierra Madre Martini, I've already gotten. So then for weapons, what do we have? Automatic Rifle, got one. Bear Trap Fist, got one. Cosmic Knife, got one. There's a Cosmic Knife Clean and a Superheated, but you need to, like, you can just make those back. You just need three knives, and we have those, so we're fine. Demolition Charge, I'm um, pretty sure we got that, right? Wait, where the hell is that? Can be purchased from the Sierra Madre Vending Machines. Oh... Can be found in a terminal next to some construction hats in the Place to Del Sol service route. Found in the southwest... Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, we'll hold off on that. I'll put that... Okay, gas bomb we got. Hologram beam you can't get. That's just what they use. Again, they're listing all this stuff that's just in the console. Makes no sense. Knife spear, knife spear, clean, police pistol, throwing knife spear. That, that stuff's all fine. Cut weapons, we don't care. Weapon mods. Okay, this is the stuff we do need to find now. Ike the, Ike the Sniper! Rail idea, thank you very much, Ike. Thank you, dude. Alright, I'm, I'm just trying, I'm not trying to stall here. Let me just... Okay, now we need to look for the um, actual mods. Let me just figure out where we're going. Puesta del Sol South directly. Jeez. Now we do, now we have to do a big, like, collect-a-thon of all the, um, the mods. I mean, there's only five mods, though, so it's fine. Let me see what the easiest way to do this would be. Yeah, notable loot would be good. What the hell is it? God, this DLC is confusing. There's like lovers mark stashes too, but we're not gonna wear. We already found one of those and didn't even have anything in it. That's just like an unmarked thing. Um, okay, here we go. So yeah, we're looking for... So we'll just cover each area as we come to it, I guess. And we'll get any, like, notable shit. So we're looking to go to Puesta del Sol South. And we're looking for the uh, rifle upgrade thing, which is going to be... Right. Oh my god, this is confusing as fuck. Okay, let's try that. Alright, so let's see. We need to go to Puesta del Sol South, which is where to be... Yeah, I want to get the unique mods. That's definitely something I want to get. And then outside of that, we'll just figure out what else we want to do. This is so up in the air just because, you know, we're not doing all the really small stuff that's not even marked, like the lover's mark things. So it's like, where do you draw the line for the 100%? We'll figure it out. But we'll get the we'll get the most, like, important, interesting stuff, at least. Um, thank you, Dobin. Thank you, Mary, again. And thank you, Ike, for those gifted subs! Elf! Okay, we need to go to Puesta del Sol, what, north or south? This place is so confusing, holy fuck. South, and then there's a lot of vending machine codes. Okay, yeah, south is where, where we're gonna pick up a lot of the vending machine upgrade stuff. So where's the closest entrance? It's like kind of straight ahead, past one door. It's gonna do two boops there. 
Hello! It's like straight forward to the right. That is not that one. It's gonna be this. I think we're done with the medical center, hopefully. Because we did like explore that and we explored the police station a lot. So hopefully we're done with that. Okay, so here's where we, yeah, here's where a lot of this stuff is gonna be. Oh boy, yeah, oh yeah, that's right. It's this like really grimy area. Okay, there's gonna be some like upgrades we need to find here. <clears throat> Just want to say I love the series with the New Vegas doing a great job. Well, thank you, Love Daddy. I love that comment. Thank you. Yeah, there's been so many nice people saying nice things, and I really do appreciate it, man. Because uh, let me tell you what, there was none of that with Enderall. Not that I, like, need it or anything, just that it feels good. <laughs> it feels, feels good to feel like we're back on track, you know? So thank you very much for saying that. Ratters, they are... Oh, look at that. Okay, let me figure out where we're going. I, yeah, let me just figure out where we're going. Hold on. Next to the wires where you leave Dean in the quest? Where the fudge is that supposed to be? Oh god. There's so much stuff to clean here. Yeah, we're gonna just go for like the unique things, I think. And I'm not gonna bother with all the... Yeah, it's, I don't wanna, I don't wanna find vending machine codes all night, but I do wanna get at least the unique mods. So there are five of those. I might do the really, really boring stuff just off camera if I really want to do this. Uh, anyways. So the wires... Yeah, I don't remember where we left Dean, though. That's the thing. Yeah, we're supposed to leave... We're supposed to leave Dean somewhere near near a whole bunch of wires. I'm not even sure where that's supposed to be. Um, We already did that, obviously. I just don't remember. Because this all looks like the exact same area, you know? Is it like up there? Also, is there any way to even see if we have those mods? Did we like not pick up any? Let's see. Yeah, I don't think we have literally any of the mods. Oh, fuck. All right, this is gonna be a nightmare to find. We'll find it. We'll make it work. Um, I just gotta find where we're supposed to leave Dean, which I have, I have a guess. Wasn't it like near? Man, I'm confused. I'm thinking it might be over this way. Let's see if we can make a big boy jump. Okay, we don't have to make a big boy jump. We could just drop down here. I love the I love the Enderall playthrough. Thank you. Well, yeah, no, I, like I always said, I think it was good. Just, um, yeah, obviously didn't uh, attract as many people, which is totally fine. It just happens. Not everything can be a winner. But, um, yeah, I think it was good, too. But, you know, it's you, you do the big stuff like New Vegas, you're going to get probably a lot more people, uh, you know, attached to the series. There's some wires. Is that it? No, that's a freaking fan. What is that even? It's a lamp. Holy crap. Where the fudge were we supposed to leave Dean? The hell is that over there? Alright, there's gotta be a better way to find this stuff. And if anyone knows, feel free to let me know, too. If anyone, like, has a good... If anyone knows where this stuff... I don't know why you would know. Jeez. Okay, let's take a look. Oh my gosh. There are so many vending machine codes. Yeah, we are not doing this. I was going to do all of them. I didn't realize how many there are. If I do this, we'll do it off camera. There are a lot. And we're never even going to use them because half of them are just garbage. But I want to do I do want to get the mods at least. Um, like I said, so where the fudge is this one? On top of the tallest roof. Yeah, we were just there, right? Follow the rooftops to the center. Okay, we were just there. Why didn't it say that? That's so much easier. Why is it telling me to go find wires and shit? What are you talking about? Okay, so there's on top of the tallest roof, which is where we literally just were. I don't know how to get back on top of it, though. That's the thing. I mean, I'm assuming we were on top of the tallest roof, right? Up there, maybe? Let's go and see. Some bear traps. Who even had time to put that there? Seriously? Okay, how the heck did we get to the top of this before? Yeah, because we dropped down to here. 
Okay, so we just need to figure out how we got on top. I don't know what would be considered the tallest roof. A lot of these are kind of the same height. Do we go over here and, like, up some stairs or some shit? No, those stairs are blocked off. I mean, we came from a door, did we not? How the fudge did we get up there? Um... Oh my god. <laughs> this is gonna be annoying. I might just save all this for off camera. Let's see, what's this? Puesta del Sol South. Yeah, where we came from one of these, did we not? Switching state. We came from this one right here. So the question is, how the fuck did I get up there? Ugh, just all these villa areas just look so similar. Okay, maybe we follow the arrows. Maybe that's it. There's one over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were in here. Okay, then we went upstairs. Here we go. Ah, okay, there we go. We found it. All right, now we get up to the top of here. Now, we need to find the top of the, the topmost roof. So, is it not this? They all seem to be kind of the same. I mean, you would think it would be this, right? So, apparently, there is a mod somewhere. I'm going to laugh if it's literally like a tiny little blip, which is probably exactly what it's going to be. It's like an arrow pointing. Well, it wants me to go that way, yeah. So is this not where it is? Oh, there's an electric box fuse, which actually is like a, a quest item. There's like three of those. Oh, man. Okay, well, what would be a higher roof than this, though? Oh, boy. Okay, let's check again. The vending code for this mod is found in Puesta del Sol South, on top of the largest roof. To get there, go into the ruined cafe and exit through the top floor. Exit located southern part of cafe, not north or east. Follow the rooftops to the center building in the square. Did that. You'll see a grating leading to the platform above? What? Follow the rooftops of the center building in the square and you will see a grating leading to the platform above the vending code is on the ground at the base of the center column opposite the ramp you came up near several microfusion cells okay sure man all right so are we supposed to like follow this it, it says follow the rooftop so are we supposed to just keep going maybe that's what it is y'all see a grate or anything it's saying like there's gonna be a great <clears throat> really little bear trap seriously the one bear trap that's been left alive. Okay, can All right. Well, we'll just follow this, I guess, and try to find it. So if we go over this way, follow the... Yeah, follow the arrows, maybe. Maybe the arrows will lead us to victory. I just feel like that's the rooftop they're talking about. Maybe not, though. There's some more arrows over this way. Yeah! Nope, that's a dead end. Gala is the only way. Yeah, the only rooftop we can seemingly even get to. I'm just going to go through here and see if there's anything hidden over this way. Boy, I cannot locate this, folks. If anybody wants to help out, feel free, man. Hollow rifle, advanced caliber. Oh, that's why, because that's not even what I'm looking for. Automatic rifle. I know this is so confusing. I'm so sorry. This is the most interesting thing ever, right? Yeah, I was looking at the wrong thing. Whoopsie-daisy. Okay, so auto, uh, auto rifle upgrade internals. The vending machine code for the mod can be found in Puesta del Sol South, directly behind the cables where you left Dean Domino during the strike of the band quest. Yeah, the thing is, I just don't know where that is. It could be anywhere. All right, we might, we might just give up on this because this is just the most interesting content one could possibly muster, right? Maybe it's right over here. Maybe this is where we're supposed to leave Dean. I just genuinely have no remembrance. Are we even in the right place? Puesta del Sol North, right? Oh my god, it's south. I'm gonna lose my mind trying to find these mods. Holy shit. <laughs> this all looks like the same place to me. Okay, so let's see. Where do, how do we even get to Place to Del Sol South? Oh my god, this is fucking boring. I, yeah, I might just like save all this for off camera or something. Um, so yeah, we're in north. We're supposed to be in south. It all looks and sound, sounds the exact same, which is why this is so confusing. 
Uh, let's just try to find where Puesta del Sol South is. We'll give that a shot. Where does this go? Perfect. Thank you. Something. Some leeway. Here we go. Now it's... Okay, it's literally up there. Yeah, I was in the wrong spot the whole time. Okay, I know we wanted to go into the cafe this time around. And then get to the top somehow. That makes so much sense. Jesus. Okay, let's see. Where are we going? What's that? Puesta del Sol South? Where are we now? We're, we're south, right? I, I'm, I'm losing my mind, chat. This is just going to be a stream where you watch my mind slowly degrade until it evaporates in a pile of dust. Okay, let's see. Where does this go? South. Yeah, so that just both goes back outside. So I think we'll be okay going through here. And then we're trying to... Yeah, this is where it said follow the rooftops, I think. Okay. I think we're trying to get up there. Yeah. Please let me make this Yeah, here it is. Drain my perfusion cell. It said it was near some of these. Okay, let's make a big jump. Yeah! No. Yeah, we just need to get up there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, here we go. It's just a grate. Look at Oh, there's the grate that it was talking. Okay, there it is. That's one out of five. Vending machine code hologram rifle advanced calibration. Boom. Wow. That was worth it, right? Because we'll definitely make use of that. Okay, let's take all of this stuff. We get some ammo, though, too. That's nice. We could use all the energy weapons ammo we can get. Also, why is my Pip-Boy light off? Okay, that's one out of five. Oh, my gosh. All right. So, let's see. Where is the next one? Directly behind the cable? How is that directly behind the cables? What are you even talking about? All right, so we're going to start at the top with these uh, with these mods. I have so many tabs open, I really need to shut these off. Okay, hold on. Let me do let me just do some stuff here. Okay, so let's see. There are tons of vending machine codes. I'm not I'm not going to get those in this stream. Um, if anything, I'll save and do those like off camera. So we're just going to get the mods like I keep saying. So we got the automatic rifle upgraded internals. Now there's a bear trap fist uh, mod. There's the demolition charge mod. There's the hologram rifle advanced calibration mod. The hologram rifle focus. We really do need to get those hologram uh, rifle mods anyways because that is going to be the big thing. And it looks like that's really the only important stuff. So let's see, let's see where are these mods located? Uh, the Bear Trap Fist, Salida del Sol South. The Advanced Calibration, Puesta del Sol South. You see how this gets confusing? Focus Optics, Gala Event. Okay, where, man? Oh, no, did I not grab that? We might have gotten that one, actually. Okay, and then where's this one? Yeah, we definitely got that, didn't we? Switching station. Okay, so we got switching station, Salida del Sol South, and Puesta del Sol South. Which isn't that where we are. Oh, my God. I have three Hello Fresh meals to give away. Oh, dude, you already sent one to me. Give it to somebody else in the chat. Yeah, but you're, you're already nice to me, man. Place to Del Sol South. Okay, so is that lo the location of one of these? Yes. Okay, on top of the tallest roof. To get there, go... Oh, this is near... This is the one that we just grabbed. Chat. Oh, God. Yeah, we got the hologram. Okay, let's see. Vending machine code. Do we have any other upgrade ones that we have here? Let's see. Here we go. Okay, scotch, vodka, wine. We do. We got the focusing lens. So we, I think we have two out of five, basically. Actually, we have a lot of these already. Holy crap. Yeah, I'll still clean them up off camera, but we actually have a lot of these uh, vending machine codes anyways, which I didn't realize. Okay, so which upgrades do we have? We have the advanced calibration for the hollow rifle. And we have the focusing lens. Advanced calibration and focusing lens. Okay, so we got that one done. And we got that one done. Good, we did get the one at the Belterra. That would be that would be the most uh, horrible one to get. Which, 
Which means, okay, we just need... I think like three more? Yeah. Okay, we need the auto rifle upgrade internals. We need the demolition charge. We need the bear trap. Uh, and we need the re... Okay, so we'll get the... Okay, so where's this one? Switching station, right. And then this one's Salida del Sol South. And this one is the... Uh, the, the connecting thing, the, I forget what it's called, and then this one is Puesta del Sol South. Directly behind the caves where you left Dean, blah, blah, blah. Okay, Jesus. Guys, you having fun? Isn't this some, isn't this super duper fun? Okay, where the hell are we right now? Puesta del Sol South. So, there is one more, yeah, there is one more, um, thing here. So, we just gotta find where we left Dean. That's for the auto rifle, and I just don't remember, man. Let's take a look at the local map. Ruined store, Puesta del Sol North, Ruined Cafe. It must be, like, over here, considering this place doesn't really have anything. So I'm going to put my marker that way. And if anybody remembers where you leave Dean, man, feel free to let me know at any point. I will love you. I will caress you. I'll never let you go. I'm just going to... Man, I'm going to be the best ever to you. Yeah. Let's make this jump. Yeah. I know we can make that jump. Come on. Power positivity. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Um, I don't want to get poisoned by that cloud, either. Okay, there's traps in here, which is actually a bad sign, considering that means I have not been here yet. Um, let's just keep going north here. Is that a little tiny speaker? Oh, that's cheeky! All the speakers, of course, are, like, turned off, because we already finished this, but... There's the demolition charge! That's not even supposed to be here. That's not where I was going to look for it. Okay, that makes that easy. Shit. Okay, that's good. That takes one out. So now we only need to find, like, I think three more. I don't know why that was there. Mortal Kombat is still releasing characters for 11, right? I have no idea. If there's one game type I don't know Jack Diddly Squat about, it's going to be fighting games. Although, oh my... Dude. How do you get jump scared in like a 2009 game? I looked over and I thought it was like a, a trap that you um, disable, like a tripwire, and then it moved, and that really, really, really freaked me out. <laughs> um, what is this? I mean, we haven't been like anywhere over here. Man, where in the world did we leave Dean? Once we find that, we're good. I just. Yeah, man, does anybody know in the chat? I always love watching your videos and streams. It something. Oh, you got cut off. It inspires me to make my own videos. Well, thank you, man. I'm trying my best with this one, but this is not interesting. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll just look up the walkthrough for, like, where we're supposed to leave Dean. Um, It was near the holograms, though, wasn't it? Because we had to turn them on for him. Yeah, we're looking for, like, some wires... This is the hardest one to find, by the way, so once we find this, we're done, but... Yeah, I'm just having some trouble, man. Uh, Vince? Vince Jilt? Did I say that right? Thank you so much for the subscription. Here we are, here we are. Wait, I think this is it. The wires! They're right there. The wires are right freaking there. Oh my god, thank the lord. Oh my gosh, thank the lord. Okay, I want to be out of here. I do not like finding this thing. Okay, so we got the demolition charge. That's really good. We don't got to worry about that one. Now, where is this one? Directly behind the cables where you left Dean during the strike up the band quest. So they're literally right here. Okay. Directly behind the cables. Where well, there's the cables. I am not seeing a mod. Chat, do you see this little disc here? Chat. Do you see this little disc here? This has destroyed brain cells in my mind. But there it is. Yay. Oh my god. Okay. Two more to go. Bear Trap Fist. This one is going to be in Salida del Sol South. And then the last one is going to be in the switching station. Um, we do... We need to get all the hollow rifle stuff. That is the most important stuff because we might actually use the hollow rifle for the rest of the series. 
So it's just about what's going to be closer, the Salida del Sol South or the switching station. So that's what we're looking for now. And Vince, thank you so much, man. Seriously, for that sub. Uh, and let me know. Vince, I got right. I know that. Let me know if I got anything, if I got the other part wrong. Okay, let's remove that. Now, where are we going? Ruin store, Puesta del Sol North, Ruin Cafe, Puesta del Sol North, and Ruin Building. We just need to get out of here, so I'm just going to go straight and try to find that door. Loving the vids. First time in the stream. Which item are you looking for? I was one of the contributors on the wiki back in the day. Holy crap. Hey, what's up? Uh, well, I wish I had saw that. <laughs> I wish I had saw that. Before you said that. Oh, we just got it. Yeah, it was the, um, the hollow rifle. Or, no, the, uh... It was the, uh, the auto, the auto rifle upgrade. Whatever it was. So we just got it. Actually, I can check just now. If we take a look at our inventory here. It was... This one? It increases the automatic rifle's rate of fire? Yeah, I believe it was this. This is a restricted dispenser code for the blah, blah, blah. Yes, we got... Th this was the one that was throwing me off completely. But we got it. So we only got the bear trap fist and the... Ho the last hollow rifle, which is the big one. Ooh, switching station's right over there. Good, okay. Switching station is one of the last two. That disc, yeah. GV just sees right through us. I genuinely feel bad. I don't know if this is what you're talking about, but like I said, I genuinely feel bad for missing so much chat tonight. I am sorry, everybody. It's just, I, you know, I know with these streams that go up on YouTube, I gotta, like, gotta keep things moving, and I already think I've been doing a bad job because <laughs> we got stuck on that one thing for so long. I do apologize. I don't know if that's what the mods are talking about, but I do apologize. Okay, here's the switching station. Good. All right, let's see. Now, where is it in the switching station? So, this is the big one. Adjacent to the elevator door where you bring Christine. Damn, dude. If only I had looked for the... If only I had looked a little bit more, I would have been able to find these so easily. Because we went through all these locations. At least now, whenever I do this in the future, I'll know, like, exactly where these are. Okay, and then I'll hopefully have some vague vestige of a memory that will remind me where to go. Alright, so this one will be easy. It should be, like, actually right through there. Because that's where we left Christine, right? What was the episode that went up today, by the way? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're good. I'm not spoiling anything, I don't think. Okay, so let's hop down here. If you remember when we were here, I think this was Monday's episode. Uh, there were just lots of bad things in the switching station that were trying to murder us and explode our head, and it was really not cool, dude. Okay, so... Actually, it's not this one, is it? Or is it? It must be in this corner, then. No, it must be over there. That Yeah, it's got to be over there. Okay, so it should be on this in this room on a console somewhere. Let's look. We're looking for a little hollow disc. And let's run through this, too, just to see. Locker key. Wow, we already read that. I remember about old man Ennis. Okay, so there should be... Aha! Dang, dude. So if you're playing this through this yourself, just get these when you first come to them because trying to track them down, not that great. Okay, hologram rifle reinforced components. Now we got all three of the hologram rifle mods, which is important because the hologram rifle is one of the best, if not the best, energy weapon in the entire game, including all the DLCs. So if you want to, you know, be able to mod it and do all that sort of stuff, make sure to get those. Okay, the last one is in Salida del, Sol, uh, Salida del Sol North or South. So we just need to get the hell out of here and go find that, wherever that may be. And then I think we pretty much have all the unique stuff that I want to find. Um, like I said, if there's any others, I'll definitely get them off camera. Because it's just going to be vending machine codes for random odds and ends, such as drugs and whatever. We're never going to use those, but I would like to have them. Because once we leave, I don't think there's any way uh, to get them again. Where the heck did we come from? Think through here. <clears throat> you see through us because you can't see the mods in the game. Oh! Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I wish I could. God, I wish I had more perception. <clears throat> Especially for Avery because, yeah, if you know anything about Christine's... Um, <coughs> excuse me. If you know anything about Christine's, like, interactions, you really need to have perception uh, to be able to get the most out of that, which I did not. Although we still got her perk, ironically... The only one out of the three when, like, I, I didn't even have the skill required for her stuff. Um, okay. So we're back in the main room now, and here we go. All right. We're making, we're making some stuff. 
The bear trap fist? That is the last one we need. Yeah. The last one we need is the bear trap fist. So we need to get out of here. Which I'm assuming the only way is to go back into Puesta del Sol because there's no other doors, right? Yeah, the bear trap fist is the final one. And then we're good. Uh, let's see. My controller's starting to drag, by the way. I'm gonna need to, like, buy a new controller. Where does this go? See, we weren't able to get into the service route, and that's supposed to be where the demolition charge was. So, luckily, we found either a copy or something. I, I thought there was only one. So, that's good, because I don't even know where the key is to get into that place. Okay. Yeah, alright, so there's nothing there. So yeah, we should be able to get back to the villa here, I guess? Because there's three different doors. Um, town square? Yeah, that would be good, right? Why does it say there's only one door? Uh, this is Place to Del Sol South. We're looking for Salida Del Sol. This is service route. Oh, there's the service route. Why is that one open? Don't know! I'm mega confused. I've never worn makeup in my- in a normal day. Only time I've worn makeup is figure skating competitions and even then it's minimal i didn't know you did figure skating what the fuck you've like never talked about that i don't think okay so now finally we can just go to salida del sol south which is straight ahead just about okay <clears throat> i'm gonna call it quits for today it's late and tomorrow's a new day hope everyone has a great stream hey see you later we do twitch have a great night man thanks for stopping by and watching okay so Salida del Sol, we are super duper close. Lots and lots of ghost men. We really need a save because we have done quite a lot. And if I if I have to reload a save, I'm going to genuinely lose my mind. Hello, please don't know, please don't do nothing. Okay, it should be right over here. Yes. <clears throat> hey, see you later, Riders Air 15. Have a good night, man. Enjoy your dinner. Okay, so here we are. Salida del Sol South. Now, let us see. Roughly four feet from the switches where the courier leaves dog and god at the end of fires in the sky. Oh my god. All of these were literally right next to all the <laughs> quest locations. Jeez. Um, okay, so we just need to find, just like with Dean, we need to find where we left dog slash god. I'm not exactly sure where that is. Uh, that one guy, do you know where that is? I've been figure skating for like seven years now. I passed last summer my star five skills test so I can finally get my coaching license. How have you never mentioned this? It's like such a huge thing. Well, congratulations. I don't know what that means, but my sister used to take um, ice skating. So, I mean, there's that. She used to take ice skating classes. Okay, so we just need to find where we leave. What's his face? Perfect. There it is. Okay, good. We found that one quick. Now, it should be somewhere, like, right around here. So, again, we're just looking for the last little hollow tape. Is it literally in here somewhere? God, dude. Look how easy that blends in, too. Look at that! Ugh. Why would they, why would they put gray on gray? Alright, that's all of the weapon mods. So, we're done. That, that's the main thing for the vending machine codes. Everything else, eh, whatever. We might only be missing, like, one or two anyways. I don't even know. Um, but before I record tomorrow, because I am going to be recording more of this tomorrow, I'm going to, I guess, make sure that I have the rest of those vending machine codes. Just hunt them down, because that's really the only thing I think we need to get um, as far as these. Well, that'll be all the vending machine codes, yeah. Okay, so that's done, and that's done. And so now, what are we missing? So... Got all those... Okay, we got a lot of, like, kind of odds and ends type items, but I don't know what we're actually going to get. We got Dean Domino saw her yesterday's song. Okay, let me just run through these and see if there's anything that we're missing still. Just a lot of kind of, like, little hollow tapes and passwords and things like that, which we don't need to bother with. Okay, I mean, that's that. Is that everything? Yeah, that might be everything outside of the random little uh, vending machine codes, which I'm not sure how many of those were missing, but... So the only other thing, really, is to get banned from the casino. 
I think outside of that, we did every we did every other thing. Yeah, I think so. As far as achievements go, um, we should have all of these actually, except for the uh, casino one, which we'll do. Yeah, man, that should be everything. Okay, uh, if anybody knows of any other significant stuff, feel free to let me know. But as far as I understand, that is like everything that we needed to worry about. I honestly thought there was going to be more stuff. But, no. I thought there was going to be more stuff in the casino, but there's not. Yeah, we did get Dead Man's Hand. Yeah. What is going on in the chat? Blackjack is so easy. It is time to gamble. I guess this is going to... Man, we're going to have way more time for Dark Souls than I thought we were. Man, maybe a super extended stream where we should... Stop! That's mean! We might have more time for Dark Souls than I thought we were going to. This is honestly... This was honestly way faster than I thought. Um, okay, so we need to go to, like, Salida del Sol to get out of here. Now we just need to go to the casino, get banned from the casino. I'm not sure how long that'll take. I do know some of the little secrets here and there. If anyone can think of anything else that I that I should or didn't get, feel free to let me know. But, like I said, I think that's about it. I think that's about it. If not, you can get the Chivo by dropping and picking back up a card that can... Seriously?! Oh my god, for anybody watching this on YouTube, Vince says that you can get that dead man's hand thing by, like, literally taking a card that counts and just dropping it and picking it back up. That's... shit! <laughs> well, tracking down the cards wasn't hard, so that's fine. Uh, what's dead man's hand? Though I thought I knew too much about the game. It's just a challenge where you, uh, where am I going, by the way? What in the fuck is Campagna's Del Sol? Dude, where are the... Where? I've been looking at world map. Guys, my brain is frazzled. I need to get up and move around a little bit. I'll be right back. I'm like looking at the world map the whole time. Have I ever played a Fallout game? All right, be right back. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Look at my cats. Or my cat. I'm gonna grab some water. Be right back. Okay, let's do a little woosa, dude. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? Hope you're enjoying the stream so far. Woo! Luckily, the future DLCs are not going to be half this confusing because they're actual designed areas as opposed to, like, one town that all looks the exact same in 18 different locations. So luckily, when we clean up the other stuff, it'll be a lot easier to figure out where we have and haven't been. I'm thinking about the other DLCs. The only one that might be tricky is the, um is happy trails just because there's a lot of caves i think but we'll make we'll, we'll figure it out uh all righty so let's go get ourselves banned from the sierra madre what do you say i don't know how long that's gonna take if it's looking like it's gonna be a while um we will just you know we'll do some of it to show you how it works and then we'll leave i think okay so i need to be following the the freaking local map not the world map See how that, that was my controller dragging right there. Yeah, my controller's starting to really drift to the left. I'm being poisoned by a toxic cloud, am I? I thought I quit League, what? Okay, so let's see, let's head this way, back through the door that we came through, don't judge me. I'm 78 years old, okay, I have an excuse. The villa is literally right there <laughs> behind us, holy crap. Okay, so we just need to make it there and we are good. I was wondering why there was freaking, like, quest markers, why there was location markers on my map, but yet it only told me to go to, like, one place. Ooh, I am frazzled-dazzled. Doesn't take that long if you're max betting. Um, I already did some, and it seemed like it was gonna take longer than I thought, so I was just hoping it wouldn't take forever, but we should be fine. When you do Honest Hearts, I'd visit every location when you first start the DLC. It's a surefire way of getting all the missables. Yeah, I have to do a lot of research on what's missables in the D what's missable in the DLCs, just because 
when I first, uh, I really only did these like maybe once or twice in all my playthroughs. So, yeah, I have to do a lot of research on what's missable. I did a lot of research with this one. Um, unfortunately, the ones I missed out on were the perks. I really wish I had like realized that Dog and God and Dean can give you perks, because totally missed that. Um, and unfortunately, once you miss those, you're, you're done forever. You can't get them. But they're, they, they're perks that wouldn't help us out in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but still, you know, it's a bummer. Okay, so ladies and gents, this is the final thing that we got to do. Uh, we could, I guess, track down any of the other vending machine codes too, if it looks like we have more than enough time. But, basically we need to get banned from the casino. If you have played Fallout New Vegas before, you know that like one of the achievements is to get banned from every, every casino. There's like a, a challenge. I don't, re again, this is something I don't really need to do, but I'm going to do it anyways, just because, you know, it's New Vegas, there's gambling. So somebody said you can get really lucky on the slots. Now, if anybody in the chat wants to contribute and, and knows of a better way, feel free to let me know. But from what I understand, the best way is to do blackjack, because you'll, like, never lose. I I've played blackjack, and I've never lost, uh, basically. And, like, even if you get 11, you can double down and easily uh, get double your bet. So... Some people were saying the slots work, but that didn't happen for me, so I'm not entirely sure. But before we do this, I'm going to make a save first of all. Yeah, there we go. And then, we're going to uh, look at that uh, challenge. Was it even the challenge? This DLC is just so confusing in terms of like what's missable, what's what. Yeah, was it even a challenge? No, there's just one to collect a lot of Sierra Madre chips. There's not even one to get banned, but the thing is... The thing is, there are, like, unique rewards for getting banned, kind of. So... Oh, we must have already gotten Sierra Madre Souvenir Aficionado, because we, yeah, because we got the, um, we got the, uh, Snow Globe, which gives you 2,000 chips, and this challenge is just to get 500. So we must have already got that. So now we need to get banned, yeah, get banned from the Sierra Madre. Which, we'll s take a look at some strategy. Big winner. Yeah, what is this? Oh, it's an unmarked quest. Okay, see, there's, like, challenges, unmarked quests, quests, it's just... Oh, man, it gets so confusing. All right, so here's how this works, right? So I already knew all this, but I just wanted to refresh. So you get a certain amount of chips um, three times. You need to get 10,000 to get banned, but you can get a certain amount three different times, 2,500, 5,700, uh, 7,500, and you get a different reward for each one of those. The only one that's unique is the 7,500, but then you get banned at 10,000. So we need to get the 7,500 one, and then we need to get banned. Basically, and I just need to see who actually gives you the rewards because I forget. As you win the games in the casino, you'll receive the following rewards collected from the casino cashier. Right, that's what I figured. Okay, so if anyone has any, like, tips for this, if anybody thinks there's a better way to do it, feel free to let me know. But as far as I understand, the best way to do it is, is uh, Blackjack. Uh, so this guy should be the one giving us the rewards. But all we can do is switch between pre-war money and Sierra Madre chips, and, um, the opposite. Yeah. So he's supposed to give us some stuff. I was one of the people who said that on YouTube about the slots. Put on the sexy sleepwear if you want an extra luck point, too. But does it stack over my max luck? Because I have max luck. Blackjack is the best? Yeah, that's what I, th yeah. I'm, I'm accepting any, hey, I'm accepting any tips, so feel free. But, alright, here we go. We're gonna make a save. And now we need to get banned from this thing. And you also need to collect the prizes as you come to them. I think if you get all 10,000, you can never get them. So, yeah. So we play Blackjack, right? And then we um, press X to max bet. Yeah, we currently have 4,125 chips. Oh, but it tells you your earnings. Ah, now I get... So we're actually right at the first thing. Okay, so see in the bottom left where it says... Um, see in the bottom left where it says Sierra Madre earnings? We need to get that to 2,500... Then 5,000, 7,500, and then 10,000, okay? So we're going to ma uh, bet max, and then we're going to deal. Alrighty, and now we're at, what, 11? 
right? Or nine? No, we're at nineteen, right? So we stay. That is the first time I've actually lost. Holy crap! Okay. You get noticed automatically, but then you have to manually pick them up from the cashier. Slots require you knowing the win-loss algorithm for the best result. For max luck, Blackjack has the best turnout. Well, there we go from the man himself. Okay, thank you for letting me know, dude. All right, so let's try. That's the first time I've literally ever lost. See, now we have a 20. Now we have a 20, so stay. There we go. Okay, that's more like it. Bet max. The max is all, yeah. Now, the thing you're looking for, though, is when you get an 11. Um... So that's a 20, right? I'm not good at gambling, but that face cards are 10, right? So, boom, baby. Okay, so yeah, what we're looking for is an 11, because if you get an 11, you can double down. That's an 11 right there. Hey, check that out. Okay, so now we can hit double down, which is Y, and we'll double our, we'll get double the money, because we're gonna win. See, we got 21. Yeah, so we got 400. There we go, so now we're at the first uh, little thing here. So then we leave. Oh, look at that. Okay, you have a complimentary gift waiting for you at the cashier. I've never done this. I never even knew this was a thing. I just got locked out of the casino and never, like, ever did this. So, yeah, this is interesting. Okay, so then we go to this guy. Hello. He faces you, blah, blah, blah. Collect comps. The hologram cashier nods, then a section for the tabletop slides away, and a package, is, a package rises from it. The first one, you just get uh, alcohol. So, <clears throat> thanks for that. Okay, good, 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 good. And now we basically just rinse and repeat that over and over and over and over. So, this would be the time if I missed anything in the chat or you want to ask me any questions or anything like that. This would be the time because, yeah, we're going to do this and see if it, like, is doable. Hey, that was easy. <clears throat> it should, but you shouldn't have an issue if you're max luck. Yeah, we're max luck, which I'm so freaking glad I picked. God, if I didn't pick this, this would have been awful. Okay, that's a 17, so I'm going to hit... Ha! Oh, man. This is too ridiculous, dude. Too ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna hit again. Uh, what's that? A 12? Or aces high? I don't even know. Double down? I think I lose now. Oh, do you- do I always just want to double down? If I double down, I have to draw a 2. Do I always want to double down here? It's the easiest way for me to get the chips I need. I've been loving Stardew Valley so far. I haven't put much time into it, though. Nonetheless, it's amazing. Oh, man. If you're blind to it, just enjoy it. Don't don't look anything up. Just enjoy it. Enjoy the ride. You're going to have so much fun. Stardew Valley is freaking amazing. And I just really wish I never even looked up anything, even the mildest stuff. Just, just go in completely blind. I just heard that fart sound. Are... Is anybody else in my chat hearing random fart sounds? As far as I know, there's nothing. I promise you, I'm not farting. Hey, what's up, Sil? Uh, it went good. It was just a, um, it was like a, a free question sort of thing. So, the real thing starts next Tuesday. So, we'll see then. But, like, uh, yeah, it was, it was good. It was just a, kind of a question and answer process. And, uh, yeah, I just answered that for watery, too. If you would normally hit double down instead. Gotcha. That seems to be the way to do it. So that is a, what, a 19? I'm going to double down. Fuck it. Let's see if we get super lucky. No. Okay, that's fine. Right, so if you... So double down now. Shit! It's not working. A's are 1 or 11. They, they move? That sound is a card ruffle? I farted, JK. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Sil. Yeah, it went, yeah, it went good. Um, just... What? Oh my god, I'm losing everything now. Okay, stop, stop, stop. 11. Now we double down. We're guaranteed to win. Yes. Okay, I gotta figure out how this works so we can do this faster. That... Okay, sometimes you just instantly win. Double down? Break even? Okay, that's fine. This is in the top right, by the way. It's saying what we're doing. Okay, so now I'm going to stay. I'm losing more now than I've ever have doing this. Okay, that's a 20, so stay. I, I'd have to draw an ace, right? I just don't know what the odds are. I don't even know, like, what would actually happen. Again, with the 20. Stop. Okay. Wanna hit, I want to win the big stuff. Otherwise, this is going to take a long time. Um, now we double down. Okay, that one worked out in our favor, though. 20 again.
Double down? Uh, you feel lucky? Okay, sometimes it says you feel lucky. I don't know what that means. Maybe, like, you're gonna win for sure next time. That is a 21. Holy shit, this guy is breaking. This guy is so much tougher than last time I did this. Double down. Okay, we feel lucky again. I probably should, like, quit out and... Does anybody know what the feel lucky thing mean? Means? Hey, what's up, Mithrin? Think it's literally the fart sound you make with your mouth? Oh, am I making, like, a fart sound with my mouth? I didn't even know. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. I guess I'm unintentionally making fart sounds with my mouth sometimes. Okay, now we're getting some good winning. So I'm gonna leave here and I'm gonna... Okay, now I'm gonna save. We need to get up to 10,000. But I'm not sure if it's additive. I don't I don't even know how this really works. Because I never use the gambling, really. I did it once to get that one achievement where you have to get banned from everything. Okay, max bet and deal. Double down. Got the 21. Okay. That's 5,000. So that's the second one. So we leave. There's the message. Okay, that's two out of four. Good. All right, so now we get the second reward, which is also garbage. We're going to end up dropping it because it's not unique. And we need to have all the carry weight we can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, collect comps. And then we get pre-war park stroller outfit and a pre-war hat. Thanks, dude. Wow, this is so worth it. If the difference is 12 or greater, don't risk double down. FNV is a randomized RNG deck. Not possible to count cards. I was wondering if you could count cards or not. Yeah, I was wondering if that was even a thing. Interesting. Hey, what's up, Ashton? Welcome to the stream, dude. You feel lucky is your luck kicking in to give you the win on the current hand. Ah. Man, we're learning so much. Thanks for being in the chat, Vince. <laughs> Feels amazing, man. Fallout New Vegas. What's up, gaming time? When it says you're feeling lucky, it means your luck caused to win when you would have lost. Oh, gotcha. God dang, you people know so much. Holy shit. Okay, we're going to save here. So now we need to get up to uh, 7,500. So, oh crap. I, de <laughs> I dealt on like a nothing. Okay, uh, surrender. Doesn't matter. Okay, max bet deal. That's 12, so now we hit. And that's 20, so now we stay. Break even. Okay, so it's like we don't want to double down if it's 12 or higher. That's 11, so we double down. Boom. Okay, and we, yeah, we won because of our luck. God, this is so <laughs> this is so ridiculously cheap. By the way, if you have max luck, you can do this in like in the in the main game too. It's just ridiculous. I never really played like that either. Okay, let's deal again. Double down. Get the 21 every time. <laughs> Jesus, it would be so awesome if I had 10 luck in real life. Never have to worry about money ever again. Okay, one again. Alright, let's see what we got. 18. Stay? <laughs> we still won that? Okay. That's a 20, so we stay. Still win. By the way, can you guys see that up there? Like, you know what? Let me just, let me remove that. The New Vegas episode when you were getting jumped by those three ghouls in the vault is one of the funniest things I've seen all week. Oh, in the, yeah, in the vault. Oh, man, that episode was insane. Dude, that was such an insane recording process, too. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That, um, those episodes were just nuts, so. Glad you liked it, though. <laughs> uh, Blessy, thank you for the 50 bits, by the way. Yeah, I wish I had 10 luck in real life, too. Okay, so this is actually going faster than I thought. We're actually making good progress here. Uh, let's deal again. Another 11. Like to see it. You love to see it. Okay. I'll just go until the next thing, so. 20. Oh, come on. Come on, the dealer should never win. What's that, a 17? Hit. Ha! Easy. Okay. That's another 11. Boom, 21. Oh, by the way, to explain if nobody knows anything about... Uh, if, if, if people don't know anything about Blackjack, just to explain what's going on here... I think I explained this in the Let's Play, but basically, when you when you play Black... And I don't know shit about gambling, it's just I know about Blackjack, because whatever reason. When you play Blackjack, you, like, get a card, and then, like, another card, and then you just... You're trying to get as close to 21 without going over 21. And you have to beat the dealer or whatever. So that's what we're trying to do here. Because we have max 10 luck, it's, like, so easy for us. Uh, we can just, you know, do... The, it, so I'll explain. So we so we have our bet, it's maxed at 200, right? So if we win, we get... We double it, we get 400. So then we're gonna deal... 
we get a 2 and an 8 for a total of 11. So how... Or 10, because I can't do math, I, I guess. So how this normally works is, like, you definitely want to hit, right? Because there's much more of a chance of you getting a card... Well, I guess you automatically get a good card, because, yeah... Y if you got, like, a face card, it counts as 10, right? So if even if we got the highest value, we'd still be super close to 21. So we always want to hit. So I'm going to double down. We got 20. And we beat him, because I don't know what he got, but that probably was, like, 19 or something. Oh, oh, I didn't even realize it sends you out automatically. Okay, that's 3 out of 4. We only got to get up to uh, t uh, 2,500 more caps, and then we're done, son. Um, this is the actual good reward, I think. This, this one's actually good. So, collect comps and we get... What do we get? What the hell did we just get? I didn't see any... Uh, hello? What the heck were we supposed to get? Complimentary voucher. That was the one we're supposed to get. Uh, that was the important one. Did we not get that? What the heck? Or did, like, I already found, find one or something? It would be here, wouldn't it? Oh, we did get it. Okay, so that's the important one. Um, this is really confusing, but this is the one you really want to get. The complimentary voucher. That's when you get 7,500 caps. So make sure to do that if you're doing this yourself. Eight, <laughs> 2 plus 8 equals 12? I assure you it does not. I assure you it does not. This is oddly calming. I'm glad you think so. Thank you for the kitty treats, by the way. Blessed. Do we have one or two? Uh, we'll just do two. Whatever. Can get multiple vouchers, but only with... Yes, because I know when you leave, you get you get more. Okay, thank you. All right, so now we just need to get 2,500 more. And then we're done. Then we get kicked out of the casino and can't win anymore anyways. Okay, so we press X to go max bet, which is 200. We deal. We get a 13, so we hit... We get an 18, so we... I'm feeling lucky. Hit. <laughs> this is so OP. What the fuck? Dude, now I realize why, like, one of the main comments I've gotten throughout my YouTube career has just been, for, for New Vegas, just max out your luck. It's so ridiculous. You just automatically get, like, all the money in the world. This is just for the Sierra Madre. Like, imagine doing this in Gamora and everything. Um, I'm going... What is he... Oh, we don't know his first card. I'm gonna hit... Because that's 18. Oh, okay. That, wow, we actually lost. Can you believe it? Oh, because the ace counts as one. <laughs> I literally can't lose it, even when I don't know the rules. Okay, stay. Break even. Oh, no. We broke even. Okay, that's 17, so hit. That's 21, so we win. So easy. Oh, my God. Okay, finally we lose. Holy crap. Yeah, the voucher's important. I'll talk about that. That's 21. Nice. The voucher's, um... Actually, wait. How do the vouchers even work? Because I thought, I thought what it was is I thought you needed a voucher to be able to use the vending machine on the outside of the Sierra Madre. Oh, you're sub to the channel, Trey Terra. Somebody probably gift gifted you a sub. I love your Victor accent. It was hilarious and made me laugh, man. That's a perfect Victor right there. Hey, welcome back, Smog. Ace is 11 or what? Yeah, I keep forgetting that. When is it 11? When is it 1? It just depends. Like, if it's, if it's in your favor to be a 1 over an 11, it'll be a 1. You know? An ace is in blackjack can count as 1 or 11 based on the number of cards already in deck. Wait, based on the number already in the deck? How does that work? Okay, so we only have about 1,100 left to go, folks. That's an 18. Deal. Shit. Okay, that, that's one of the rare instances where we actually lose. Right, but what do the vouchers actually do is my question. So that, there it counts as a 1, which is why it can continue to hit. I'm going to stay, though. Okay, we're losing again now. Right, but what do they do in the vendor? Get complimentary ones after breaking the bank, too, after every day's... Yeah, yeah, I remember... Yeah, so that's the thing. You get... I remember that. You get, like, um... I'm gonna double down. Fuck it. Ha! Okay, we need... We need to win two more times. Come on. Well, come on, then. I think we lost. Yeah, okay, that's fine. 
It's holding off here at the end. Um, so yeah, when you turn in the voucher, you get 2,000... Okay, come on, what are you doing? We're so close. Thank you. When you turn in the voucher, you get 2,000 free caps, basically. Uh, hit, fuck it. Nice, stay. Man, this is ri- come on, man. We're like right at here at the end. Can you- can you just, you know. I shouldn't have doubled down, shouldn't I? Yeah. Oh, man, I'm losing it now. Stop! What happened? 14? Okay, so hit. Okay, that's more like it. Alright, I gotta- I, I guess I gotta put some mental thought into this. Okay, that's an instant 21. Thank you. That's a 20. Thank you. Okay, we're back to where we started. Uh, if I draw an ace, it's, it's a, t I'm just gonna stay, though. Okay, now I'm gonna leave, since this game is trying to take my luck away from me. And I'm gonna save. All we need is about 900 caps left. Okay, max bet, deal. That's a 19. Stay. Good. 700 caps left. Day? Oh boy, come on. <laughs> I was getting so many like wins in a row here. Stay. Break even. Okay. 18. Hit then. Stay then. Okay, good. Thank you. 700 caps again. Come on. That's a 21. Instant. Okay, we need one more big win. I'm just gonna go for it. That's a 21. Okay, we need literally 84, 84 chips. So I'm going to save here. Because I know it's going to start making me lose now. We're going to like get rid of all of our caps again. Okay, we just need one more win. Let's use the ultimate strategy. And that strategy is to just get a 20 and then win. <laughs> there it is. Okay, that's 10. So that's it. There we go. Okay, look at that. So that the whole reason to do all of that was this. Sierra Madre jackpot. You have reached the jackpot limit, but feel free to explore the other surfaces here at the Sierra Madre. Uh, okay, so we got kicked out. Uh, the, we didn't really get anything from that, but there you go. Once you win 10,000 caps, you're kicked out. Now, I don't know if that counts for the achievement, but if it, did, if it does, there you go. For the vanilla achievement to get ca uh, kicked out of every casino. So if it does count for that, make sure to do this when you're in dead money. And I don't think we can... Yeah, so here's here's the question now. What the hell do I do with all these chips? So we can exchange pre-war money for chips, or we can exchange chips for pre-war money, which we can go back and then sell the pre sell the pre-war money in order to get um, some bonuses and some perks, or you know, in order to just get money, basically, it's in order to get caps. So what do people usually do? Does anybody know? Like, what what, what do they usually... Because I cause I just did dead money for the story. I never like, oh my god, I'm going to be so rich. Oh, wow. I could, I could have cared less about the casino when I first uh, played dead money. So what do people usually do with all of their cap? With all their chips? Get the Sierra earning down. You're just trying to get... Because 84 was the total for 10,000, Scarlet. Go for 83. Oh, yeah, and then get a bunch of bonus ones. I was thinking of that, too. Oh, only the casinos on the strip count for the achievement. Okay. Yeah, we wanted to get banned from the casino. Keep the chips. You can use the bunker to resupply. Right. Right. Yeah, the vending machine back at the bunker. Weapon repair kits, stim packs. Yes, yes, yes. Right, so I know about the pre-war money. Ten... Oh my god, that's... I get okay, so yeah, I guess that's really my question: is do people normally turn them all in for pre-war money, or do they keep them to use the bunker thing? What do you guys What do you guys think before we before we leave the Sierra Madre forever? Do they Do they usually okay? So what do you think? Pre-war money or use the vending machine in the bunker? Honestly, I don't even want that much money because a it's going to be really hard to sell, and b I don't really want to break my let's play by just having like a shit ton of money. Max out super stims. All right, well that's that, folks. Uh, if there's anything else you can think of that we have not done in 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 dead money, tell me now or forever hold your peace. Because the only thing, as far as I know, uh, other than like the little miscellaneous notes and stuff, which I won't get just because, whatever. I mean, you know, it's it's. 
I, I want to, well, I don't know. I, I don't think we need to go get all the, you know, the terminal passwords that are saying like, oh, the terminal password for this one is like hokey pokey. It's like, great. You know, what's the point of that? We already, we already went through all the terminals and everything. Um, so yeah, if there's anything else that you guys can think of, um, I'm trying to think. And the only thing is just the rest of the vending machine codes, which I probably will do. So I'll end it here. And then before I actually leave the Sierra Madre, I will um, get the whatever ones I'm missing, but it's going to be really annoying to go and track those down. Plus, to keep this stream a little bit shorter is better since it'll go up on YouTube. So, yeah, if there's anything else you guys can think of, now would be the time. But as far as I know, we got all the collectibles. We did all the major stuff. <clears throat> Use the vending machine, the bunker. Yeah. I got the pre-war money because it weighs nothing can sell to any vendor. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, you can get a lot of money that way. Thank you for posting that, Scarlet. Didn't even know you could turn it in for pre-war money. Well, I probably did, but forgot. Yep, yep, you can get money that way. What discs do you have? I have pretty much all of them. Like I said, except for maybe some that are just like, you know, terminal password or whatever, which is completely useless to us because we already have done the whole story. At least I did. Yep, we did Deadman. Yeah, we okay. So just to recap, we got all the ca we got all the cards, the Dead Man's Hand Challenge. We did that. We got all Dean's secret stashes. We got all the weapon mods, uh, hollow tapes. We got all the major hollow tapes, if not all of them. Uh, we got kicked out of the casino. Got all the chips. Uh, the only thing I missed and messed up was I didn't get Dean's and God's perks. I forgot to do that. So and that's not gonna happen now. So. Those are the only things I completely missed were Dean's and uh, God's perks that you unlock. But I did get Christine, Christine's. Scotch codes, you're next to them. Oh, I'm next. I think I do. So, yeah, let's. I guess before we end this, let's just check and see what we don't have. So, let's save here. Okay, so there is a big fat list of voucher codes, which is the big one. There is a big... What? 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 There's like this research... What are you talking... What? Fallout New Vegas, dude. There's like some Sierra Madre actual casino or something. Oh my god. Can I just find a voucher code? Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Dead money vouchers, dude. I have most of them, actually. I was looking through my inventory and I actually did find most of them. I cannot find, like, a, a page for this. Okay, let's just look up dead money. I know I've, I've seen the page for this, but I, I can't, like, Google it. It's not coming up. Okay, there's dead money. Now. Yeah. Hey, legendary putty pounder. Thanks for the follow. Hello. Nice to see you. Okay, give me one second, everybody. I'm just trying to find... Dude, where are the voucher codes? Where's the page for the voucher codes? I, I I saw it, but like it's not even on the main wiki page. Oh my god. Well, I know I found it through the other ones. Okay, here we go. We can yeah. Here's the list of all the. Oh my god, there are so many. Oh, no, no, no. There are way more than I even thought. Holy crap. Right? I, I I found, like, a page of all of these listed out, and I cannot find it again to save my life. I don't know where the hell it's supposed to be. Sierra Madre chips. Like, where? It listed out all the voucher codes. Probably because nobody in their right mind would even look for these. FNV dead money vending codes. All right, I'll look for that. FNV dead money vending codes. There we go. There we go. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so yeah, there's um, there's like, let's see, how many of these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. There are 24 vending machine codes, okay? Remember that, 24. Now, if we go into my data and my miscellaneous, and we start at the top, 
We've got... Oh, here's the complimentary voucher, by the way. This voucher grants the bearer compliments of the house. Enjoy your casino chips and good health and vitality. Abuse will result in the denial of all complimentary status. Now, how this works is there is a vending machine in the bunker when you go back to the Mojave. And keep in mind, when you leave, you can never come back. So once you leave the Sierra Madre, you can never come back. Every voucher you get is worth 2,000 Sierra Madre chips. And you can always use that vending machine in the bunker to do whatever. So this is why you need to get the vending machine codes before you leave, because you can only spend them on the stuff that you have unlocked. So this is why I'm probably, when the stream ends, I'm probably just going to go and find them all. But see, so there are 24, right? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, there's the scotch, by the way. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And that's it. We have 18 out of 24, which means six are missing. Oh, that's really good. We're actually pretty close to getting all of them. Okay, so that's the only thing that we're missing. And I'm going to get all of them just because um, we can use that vetting machine for everything. We already got the important... The, you know, you just need the ones that are important. The ammo, the... Um, the ammo, you know, the the uh, stim packs. You want that sort of stuff. You don't want the stuff that's just like scotch. Wow. Oh, man. I mean, you want it if you're like me and you want all the unique stuff. But that is the only thing we're missing. Um, and I'll, I will just do that off camera because that's the most boring shit ever. Trying to find six random ass hollow tapes. If you do the SM chips, make sure you have all the voucher codes you want. Uh, that, yeah, that's exactly what I was just saying. How do you plan on winning 20 games of caravan? Uh, I'll just do it. Is there a, a way not to do that? Okay, so that's it, uh, everybody. I think that is going to do it for the Fallout Dead Money. Sorry it was kind of boring. I mean, I tried to pump it up with as much commentary as possible, but uh, it's just going around the same villas and rooms trying to find holotapes. I, I thought there was going to be more stuff. Like, I thought there was going to be more unique weapons and armor we were going to have to find in things, and there just wasn't. So, sorry this was kind of boring. But, hey, if you enjoyed any of it, then great. Um, but that is pretty much going to be it for Dead Money. Obviously, we still have this week's recordings, uh, so watch those and get caught up. But this will go up after all of those at some point, once it catches up. Um, so yeah, the only thing that, that I'm going to do off camera that you're not going to see is just get the six other vending machine codes. It's just odds and ends. It's just literally like, you know, uh, MedX or whatever. Just going to get those six, and that'll be that. That'll be everything in the entire DLC. So thank you so much for watching the stream, and thank you so much for watching the videos, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.